Five rivals collide for the first time this season. The Angels arrive in Seattle for a series showcasing some dynamic matchups. Right. Three wow. calls. 99. It begins on the mound where Shohei Otani, the reigning MVP, faces off with George Kirby, the Mariners' fireballer. A pair of headliners also take center stage in the outfield. Julio was a brilliant play in the gap. J-Rod is already a fan favorite in Seattle and growing in stature each game at his young age. L.A. counters with Mike Trout, a former MVP who routinely pulverizes Mariners pitching. It's the first of five for these electric talents on Root Sports. Mariners pregame on Root Sports is presented by Dizzy's new Mimosa Hard Seltzer. Now available at a retailer near you. Here we are at the corner of Edgar and Dave T-Mobile Park for the first of five. That's right, five games against the Angels. J.P. Crawford signing autographs. That's a good sign. He's back at all. He's back, too. Mike Trout loves hitting here at T-Mobile Park in Seattle. And Dylan Moore taking ground balls. Good thing. A new position for him today. We'll tell you about all of that as the Angels and the Mariners get set for a five-game series. The latest that these two teams have met in the season. Welcome. It's June, what, June 16th. It's Brad and our baseball analyst, Mr. Dave Valley. Kind of crazy. Man, face the Angels yet. Four series against Houston. But they'll be coming and here, in and rapid coming. succession. Exactly. The sun's out. It's a beautiful night. The Angels are here. And two of the best players, well, probably the two best players in all of baseball here, Shohei and Mr. Trout. Shohei does it. A two-way star. He's still amazing to watch, Val. Well, you know, when he first got here, there was this fascination of Kenny hitting the big leagues and Kenny also pitching the big leagues. Well, I think he's kind of removed all doubt because this guy has just shown the ability to do everything on a baseball diamond, including steel bases. But in Brad, in his last 16 starts, he's homered three times when he is on the mound. So he's going to beat you a couple of ways with that great arm and with that great bat. A unanimous MVP last year. Look what he's do doing with his off-speed pitches. The slider, the splitter, which is nearly unhittable, and the curve. 31.7 K rate, which is fifth in the bigs. I mean, nobody hitting those off-speed pitches. So your local four dealer key to the game. What is the key? What can you do against this guy on the mound? Well, the key for the Seattle Mariners tonight is going to be to figure out how do they solve the problem of Shohei Otani. He has been so good. He's had four starts. This will be, I'm sorry, three starts. This will be his fourth start against the Seattle Mariners. And he's had a lot of success, a 2.37 ERA. He has struck out 27 of those guys in just 19 innings. So they're going to have to find a way to get on base, and they're going to have to, the need for one of those guys to step up and come up with the big hit. Yeah, this will be just his second start here in Seattle. So that's Shohei on the mound. For more on Shohei, the hitter, the other half of the equation, go down to the field and join Jed Mueller for that, Jed. Yeah, you know, when you look at Shohei's numbers at the plate, he doesn't have eye-popping numbers this year. 259 batting average, 13 home runs. But what he does have is the potential to change the game with a single swing. Take a look at some of these advanced metrics. He is among league leaders when it comes to average exit below barrel percentage and extra base slugging percentage all of this means that he can be a very dangerous hitter at any point in time Certainly, uh, Otani is one of the most talented players any of us have seen in our lifetime. What he can do on the mound and at the plate. and I know the numbers aren't maybe up offensively like they were last year, but he's got all kinds of power. He can take the ball out to any part of the ballpark. So you got to really be, you know, aggressive with him. I think if you try to be too fine around the edges, you fall behind in the count, and that is not conducive to getting good results against Otani. So we're going to have to be aggressive with him tonight, use your off-speed stuff, and keep him in the ballpark. How does that play to George Kirby and what he's already seen in the big leagues? And maybe, I don't want to say naive, because you can't ignore what Otani's done, but maybe because there's some newness there, it wouldn't phase him as much. Oh, yeah, yeah, hopefully the advantage goes to the pitcher when hitters have never seen you before. But uh, they're watching video. They're doing their homework just like we are against some of their new guys. So George needs to be aggressive tonight. That's what's really been important for him. He can fill up the strike zone with, with the curveball and the slider and a changeup along with a really good fastball. That's what's going to take tonight. You know, and I think... Uh, now, I really like the development of, of Cal Raleigh, too, working with our pitchers. Cal's done a nice job of, of helping our guys along and making in-game adjustments, and that's what we're going to have to do throughout the series.
So let's take a look at the EQC pitching matchup. George Kirby making his eighth start of the year. Just four walks allowed, 35 strikeouts, and he is facing an Angels team that has struck out more than any other team in the American League and is tied for the most strikeouts in all of baseball. Interestingly enough, with the Atlanta Braves, who have just won 14 straight games. A couple of more notes. We were in Tacoma last night. Did not get a chance to see Jared Kelnick play, but we did talk to him. He said that he was ready to go last night with that hamstring, but definitely definitely would be in the lineup tonight. That is absolutely the case. We also know that Evan White restarted his rehab assignment after missing about a week, aggravating that hip area. Again, he is not in the lineup tonight for the Rainiers, but Scott Service says he knows that he needs to get out there. He's missed a lot of time, needs to get some at-bats and some consistency this year. And you know what we need? Probably more hours in the day to watch sports based on how much news came out today. For more on that, we get you to Angie Bentink at the Ford Sports Desk. Ange? Yeah, Jen, all sorts of things going on in the Northwest. Some of it's like, all right, and then some of it's like, really? Okay, that's kind of a bummer. The World Cup is coming to the Pacific Northwest. Yes, it was announced that games will be played in the Emerald City when it comes to the Northwest here in 2026. The U.S., Mexico and Canada hosting games. Of course, they will take place here in Seattle across the street at Lumen Field. Now for the bummer news. Sue Bird announces today that this will be her last season with the Seattle Storm in the WNBA. She said on social media that this will be her final year. But as you can see, I have loved every single minute and still doing so. So I'm going to play my last year just like this little girl played her first. Hashtag the final year. So please. Make sure you go and watch her down at Climate Pledge Arena. Her numerous accomplishments include four WNBA titles with the Storm where she's played her 19 season. So again, go and see her in action one final time. Coming up on the Free Game Show, you don't have to go all the way to Texas or Kansas City for great barbecue. You can get it right here at T-Mobile Park. Holy Smokes Barbecue, Hunter Level by the Kids Club. We're going to go inside the smoker, like right there. Get some ribs, brisket, find out how this thing works, find out how long the meat is smoked, and then find out how good this meat is going to taste. It's all coming up on a pregame show. The sun is out. The Baseball's biggest moments are live on MLB Big Inning. MLB.tv's nightly show takes you from game to game for all the grand slams, no hitters, walk-offs, and more as they happen. Wow, he can do it all! Don't miss the ultimate baseball highlight reel. This is some kind of awesome. After your game ends, the action's just heating up on MLB Big Inning. Every night on MLB.tv. Every time he takes the field. He competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network.
for our Valentine roofing roof report. And as you can see, if that doesn't make you want to vomit, looking straight up at the foul pole as it spins around, the roof is wide open with white wispy clouds. Uh, temperature is at 68 degrees. A little bit of breeze there at six miles per hour. Summer is trying, folks. It's trying to show up here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm here, though, here at the Ford Sports Desk. Angie Mentink with you. Now, each home stand, we have been introducing you to, or to, and with the help of executive chef Javier Rosa to Tasty Grub here at T-Mobile Park. Last time out, Brad Adam went out to Edgar's Cantina. Well, this time around, Brad finds another tasty spot and finds some amazing smoked goodness. I love coming to the ballpark hungry because then I find this man, our executive chef, Javier Rosa, and he always has something good for me. Our culinary tour continues at T-Mobile Park. All right. We're at Holy Smokes Barbecue. We talked about smoking the meat. Yep. Man, you can smell that. We're at the big smokers here. What have we got inside? How do we do this? What do we got going on, Javier? Well, first of all, this is our two smokers. I've been talking about this from the beginning of the season, that we smoke everything in house and fun that we're able to show you our two smokers here. I mean, that's what we do, our magic here. As you can see right now, we have our long show riff right now. We got some brisket right now. And as you see, that's the smell coming out. This is just amazing, the whole smell that's coming out. Like I always say, you know, all those meats that we do in house is for the whole stadium. That's why we we smoke pretty much 24 hours. I mean, we are from the beginning of the morning. We have some meat. After 12 hours, we put it out, and we put another set of meat. We always smoke the pork separate. We have the pork separate first, and then we smoke the meat. That way, we don't have any com contamination or combination of flavors. But definitely, this is our pretty much our the the, the, uh, the equipment that we use to really make this happen. The magic happen in the stadium. And it's for the whole bar park, ball park. And I know it smells good. I know it looks good, and I think it's time we we, th we gotta have a taste. We gotta go to the front and make it happen. Like, yes. Well, let me tell you something. We're gonna take some good food today for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Javier, we've moved away from the smokers. Now we're in front of the stand here, Holy Smoke Barbecue, and we've got some samples. Now I'm going to get ready, my friend. Hey. You're going to do the talking. You, you have I to get my bib going. You have to get ready for this. I gotta, that's right. I've got to keep my tie. Oh. <laughs> oh, so we have, here, so we, we we have you know, I guess they, well, it's our word take on the nachos. We call it the holy moly loaded chips. I mean, we have nachos to the whole stadium. We decided to do something more like barbecue-ish. Uh, we do some potato chips, and we load it with our barbecue pork that we had in the back in the smoker. That we smoke for 10 hours, and we put some queso blanco, and we do our homemade barbecue sauce. We're going to put some citrus on the sauce as well. And we use a little bit of like cabbage as slow as well to go with the potato chips. Mm. Man, that's good. Okay, I'm keep eating here. And these ribs, these are not small ribs, my friend. This is the Flintstone rib right here. That's the biggest short rib that we got here in the house. I mean, that one take around 12 hours as well. Uh, this is something that we are really proud to present to the people. I mean, right now people walk around, so they grab the bone and they just walk around. And then and they, people just love that, you know what I mean? They eat it. The barbecue sauce is a house-made sauce as well. We do a nice uh, mac and cheese to go with this. House cornbread and the summer slow as well. It's a nice citrus to and slow to go with that as well. That's a combo. You also get a brisket combo as well, very similar. Yeah. Does it really the same play with the brisket? Same amount. I mean, a nice amount. I mean, for the price that you pay, you can probably two people can eat for the dish. They had a pulled pork sandwich, and you got the bibs, some separate. Yep. I think you got to get messy, right? When you get barbecue, I mean, you got sauce everywhere. I mean, barbecue I'm barbecue sauce is not be messy. You have to enjoy right, it. Man, you know exactly. what I mean? You have to enjoy the whole you enjoy food. Enjoy it. That's right. If you're messy, you're enjoying it. Javier, Absolutely. We appreciate it, ma'am. Holy smokes, barbecue again, 100 level next to the Nihau statue. We will not be disappointed. Thank you. You will never be disappointed here for Ooh. sure. Come and join us. Let me be the first one to tell you that that smoker is spot on. Yeah. Uh, these loaded chips are absolutely delicious. I was eating the entire time I was watching so was that this guy. piece, Brad. Exactly. Well, I see Nick, my photog, eyeing these, right? So I'm just going <laughs> to, like, lick the entire Angie, thing so he can't the, jump in. <laughs> the brisket here is not leaving hey, the table. It's made I'm to sorry. share, Angie. I keep telling Val that. It's made to share, my friend. But because he missed the shoot, he's saying this all his. And that's the brisket you guys, you guys some yesterday. Did yeah. you, wait, 
with, with, with the slaw, the cornbread, and is the mac and cheese. Is there any Oh, my. No. no. I know. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? It's yeah, very yeah. dangerous You're to put brisket like, in front it of so a hungry man. You're supposed to, like, leave it so we can talk about it. Exactly. And the, the rib is fantastic as well. We, we tried that yesterday. Uh, 103 level next to us, actually, in the kids' club and also at the 313 level. Holy smoke barbecue. I need to put my mic fantastic. down. Fantastic. Just, just follow your nose like I did. That smoker, like Ange said, yeah, unbelievable. All right. Now, you just, now he's crushing the sides, too, Ange. I got, I got nothing. I got nothing. I better, and Angie too. So okay, well, come, come yeah. to the barbecue because yeah. I'm going to be in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> like as soon as the show's over, I'm getting some more, Angie. <laughs> Val's never going to miss. I'm eating, Val. I'm he's eating. I'm never, busy. He's never going to miss another food shoot. I guarantee you that. All right, again, Holy Smoke Barbecue. Enjoy, and we hope George Kirby will enjoy himself on the mound tonight. First time facing the Angels. First time facing that man, Trout and Otani. He's got the second lowest earned run average among AL rookies. Hope it continues tonight. Hey, kids, join MLB Network and your favorite players for a show made just for you. Play ball. It's all the big moments, bat flips, and amazing plays from an exciting week of baseball and tips to up your game. Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern on MLB Network. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Jackie Robinson, searching home run into the left field stand. Crowd on its feet and in unison. This one has a chance. Come on! Mike Piazza, the Boston Red Sox World Champions. Welcome to the first night of MLB Network. Number 600 for Jim Tony. <laughs> that ball is gone. 106. That would be a new record. It is caught. Oh, what a catch by Mike Trout. The Cubs have finally won it all. The Atlanta. Sports is presented by Dizzy's new Mimosa Hard Seltzer. Now available at a retailer near you. And there's the Mariner killer himself, Mike Trout, in the cage for this one. All-time leader, 28 home runs as a visitor here at T-Mobile Park. Again, all-time leader and third among visitors in hits with 104. He's got 16 home runs this year. And in the first inning against the Mariners, it's 350 and 16 home runs. I think all of them off of Felix, by the way. Ward leading off, having a breakout year. Trout, Otani, Walsh, Marsh, the nine for the Angels. For the Mariners, our Swinomish Casino and Lodge. J.P. Crawford, he's back after missing two games with the flu. Great to see him back in the leadoff spot. First time this year. Julio number two because Ty France getting his first day off. You see the nine there for the Mariners. Welcome back. It's Brad and our baseball analyst, Mr. Dave Valley, who's got a little something on your... A little, little barbecue sauce? Yeah, a little bit like that. All right, another interesting matchup, something that we thought with fans would enjoy this series, of course. Mike Trout, Julio Rodriguez, right? Julio off to a Mike Trout-like start. First 62 games of their careers. Look at the numbers. Eerily similar. 
Julio's got him on average. Uh, no, excuse me, on steals. OPS Trout a little bit better, but something definitely to watch for and look at this series, Val. But one of the things about Mike Trout, he didn't come up with a lot of fanfare. Yes, people knew who he was. He was only 20 years old, but he struggled, went back down to the minor leagues, and then finally came back in 2012 and settled in and started on track for his Hall of Fame career. Now think of Julio. Early in the season, he kind of struggled getting off to, a, you know, trying to get his his footing here. But certainly over the last month, we've seen the capabilities of what this young man can do with all of that talent. He's doing it all. He's stealing bases. He's hitting the ball out of the ballpark. He's hitting for average, and he's driving in runs, Brad. So, yes, they both got off to a little bit of a slow start. I'm, and I'm not saying Julio Rodriguez is Mike Trout. Right. Maybe not yet. Maybe come back and talk to me in a couple of years, and we, then we'll start talking. But it's great to see young players who excite the stadium. And these two guys, Trout did it when he was younger. Right. Julio Rodriguez is doing it now. Similar skill sets and that, that, that wow factor. You're right. Let's get back down the field and jo join Jen Mueller again for more on the conversation about these center fielders, Jen. Yeah, and you know what? It is hard not to get ahead of ourselves when you see guys that play with such joy and energy and impact their teams in the way that Mike Trout and Julio Rodriguez speak of the devil do. It is hard not to make that comparison because it is pretty obvious. Watching Julio at 21 years old, and remember seeing Mike Trout when he was out there at 2021, 20, uh, both playing center field, both big explosive players that have power and trying to figure out themselves and the league. You know, there's a lot of comparisons there. Uh, I hope Julio grows into Mike Trout. Uh, he certainly got a chance to do that. He is that talented, but uh, Trout's a great player. We've seen him a lot here over the years. He's done some damage against us. Hopefully we can keep him down this weekend, and, and hopefully Julio can show Mr. Trout the next Mr. Trout. He's obviously an amazing player, but the similar, similarities that I see, I mean, he can hit for power. I got a little bit of pop. He's a really fast player, too. He can play a really good defense, and I feel like I can do some of that, too. You said that you have a favorite Mike Trout highlight, but I would never guess what it is. What is it? Uh, so my favorite Mike Trout highlight, I literally have seven in my phone, my favorite uh, folder. And it was he hit a ground ball to the shortstop uh, Elvis Sanders, I think. I don't know how many years ago that it was that, and like he was, he was definitely the number one player in the, uh, in the MLB, and he beat that, he beat that ground ball out. And I feel like that, that was some, that was a moment that really stood out to me, that how the best players, the, the best player in baseball was uh, hustling and beating out a single like that. So that was really impressive, and I really love that moment for him. This is going to be a fun series to watch the storyline. And tonight, Shohei Otani making his 11th start of the season. Just four Mariners have faced him before. We will see how all of this plays out as we get you closer to first pitch on Mariners pregame presented by Busy Lemonade Hard Seltzer. Every time he takes the field, he competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network. Every time he takes the field, he competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network. Ford dealer, home of the F-150, America's best-selling truck for 45 years. The 
the Mariners today agreed to terms with outfielder Jesse Winker for this year and next, buying out two arbitration years. Seattle acquired Winker this offseason in a trade with Cincinnati. In 61 games this year, Winker hitting 214 leads the American League in walks. He will still be a free agent in 2024. As a part of the salute to the Negro Leagues event during game one of Saturday's doubleheader, we're celebrating with a Seattle Steelheads NFT. Fans with a ticket in the ballpark app for game one will have the opportunity to receive this exclusive digital collectible. Get tickets at Mariners.com slash NFT. Well, what is this thing? It's definitely like a game console, I ain't gonna lie to you. Or something like that. Wait, hold on, what is it? I don't know what this is, honestly. Is it? Can you play video games with this, bro? What is that? Oh my god, I cannot tell what this is right now. No sir. Take a look. Oh, you can draw you can draw with this, right? How do you use it though? Let me see. Oh, you go up with this one, down with this one. Oh, this is pretty cool. I have, I have never had one of this, but I like those. How do you erase it, though? You shake it. Uh... Just got to shake it, Julio. Again, his first time against the Angels, first time against Trout and Otani. First pitch, 13 and a half minutes away. I know Julio excited about this one. We get you started. First of five against the Angels right here on Root Sports. Using the old baseball stats only gives you part of the puzzle. But when we challenge ourselves using advanced tools and modern thinking, you'll see the bigger picture. Challenge all things baseball with MLB Now, only on MLB Network. What does shopping for contacts look like at Warby Parker? Well, just imagine your favorite brands, take away the hidden fees, and add free shipping. There you go. Save 15% on your first order of contacts at warbyparker.com. When it comes to contacts, Warby Parker offers dozens of brands, including Scout, our very own comfortable, breathable, and affordable daily lens. Learn more about Scout or save 15% on your first order of contacts at warbyparker.com. apart in recent weeks folks at one point they lost 14 straight games and they have won just twice in their last 20 contests la has struggled to get on base and score runs and didn't get a hit until the ninth inning last night against tyler anderson and the dodgers mike trout getting set to play at t-mobile park for the first time this season he homered twice the first time he played in seattle back in 2011 the first of 47 he's crushed in his career against the mariners he's got an ops over a thousand against Seattle. Hi, 
friends, Angie Mentink with you here at the Ford Sports Desk. This is kind of odd. The Mariners and the Angels meeting for the first of 19 games. Well, that's not really the odd part. The odd part is it's June 16th, guys, as we get it upstairs to Dave Sims and Mike Flowers. The latest that these two teams have ever met for the first time. You bet, Angie. No question about it. The first time they played a five-game series against uh, anybody was against the Angels back in 1977. Good evening, everybody, and let's talk about these Angels. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a big opportunity for the Mariners over the next 18 games. They play series against teams with losing records. Yeah, you're right about that. And we're going to have this five-game series, including a doubleheader on Saturday. The Angels, we've talked about it, they've come in struggling just at two of, of 20. They've really struggled in that department, including three in a row lately. So take advantage of it. Absolutely. And Angie referenced the hit they got last night. It was by Shohei Otani, a triple late in the game. I think it was in the ninth inning against Tyler Anderson. Otani as the batter, as a hitter, is formidable, and that's an understatement. Yeah, 13 home runs on the year, plenty of bat speed for him. When you consider six foot four, a lot of leverage in that swing. And oh yeah, don't forget, he can really run also. 46 home runs last year, was second in the American League. Meanwhile, as a pitcher, he brings a big package as well. Yeah, he does. He's going to be in the upper 90s. 97 is his average fastball. You're going to see a slider and a split for the most part, but he's going to give you everything he can to handle. He's really been pitching well, especially in his last outing. So the Mariners will have their hands but there's going to be a lot of velocity coming from Otani. 9-2 last year with a 3-1 ADRA. 4-4 this year, Shohei Otani. Yeah, I'd pay to see him. We've got more pitching info from the Mariners side of things, and it's very encouraging with their young right-hander, George Kirby. More on that coming up. It is gone! Every time he steps up to the plate, oh goes into his windup. Or runs one down. He caught it! Oh, you won't see a better one than that! He competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Jackie Robinson, 13 home runs into the left field stand. Crowd on its feet and in unison. This one has a chance. Home run. Mike Piazza. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. Welcome to the first night of MLB Network. Number 600 for Jim Tony. That ball is gone. 106. That would be a new record. It is gone. Oh, what a catch by Mike Trout. The Cubs have finally won it all. The Atlanta. Brought to you by First Tech Federal Credit Union. First Tech is your financial partner investing in Mariner fans everywhere. By your local Ford dealer, home of the F-150, America's best-selling truck for 45 years. And by Emerald Queen Casino, bet, watch, and win at the all-new EQC Sportsbook, Emerald Queen Casino and Hotel. The betting capital of the Northwest. The Northwest grace with some fabulous weather. Good look at the Edgar statue out on Edgar Martinez. 
Drive as we welcome you back inside T-Mobile Park. Game one of a five-game series, and we wanted to talk about pitching Mariner style. George Kirby looking for win number two in his young career. Tell you what, Mikey's had some good moments. He really has ERA at a 3-6-5, 35 strikeouts over just the four walks for him. His fastball, he will be in the upper 90s also with the hard slider and changeup. He's done a nice job against lefties. Lefties hitting just 205 against him, primarily because of that changeup. I look for his fastball to be at the top of the zone against the Angels. There you have it, the setup for tonight's game, the first of Five against the Angels. First time we're seeing them this season. Hard to believe. But we're ready to get it on here at T-Mobile Park. It's the Angels and the Mariners. First pitch is straight ahead. From inside jokes. Hey, look. It's Mike Napafanakis. To insider's perspectives. I like over five and a half strikeouts on Walker Bueller. Your best bet is the pregame spread. Served up only on MLB Network. Baseball's biggest moments are live on MLB Big Inning. MLB.tv's nightly show takes you from game to game for all the grand slams, no hitters, walk offs, and more as they happen. Wow, he can do it all! Don't miss the ultimate baseball highlight reel. This is some kind of awesome. After your game ends, the action's just heating up on MLB Big Inning every night on MLB.tv. This season, the Angels arrive in Seattle for a series showcasing some dynamic matchups. Right, three wow. called 99. It begins on the mound where Shohei Otani, the reigning MVP, faces off with George Kirby, the Mariners' fireballer. A pair of headliners also take center stage in the outfield. Julio, what a brilliant play in the game. J-Rod is already a fan favorite in Seattle and growing in stature each game at his young age. L.A. counters with Mike Trout, a former MVP who routinely pulverizes Mariners pitching. It's the first of five for these electric talents on Root Sports. Swing and a miss, struck him out. We have an absolutely gorgeous evening for Major League Baseball tonight from Seattle, Washington. Glad you've joined us as the Angels and the Mariners get together for the very first time this season. Hard to believe division rivals and here it is on the 16th of June. They're finally hooking up. But here they are. Angels getting in around four o'clock this morning and ready to take on the Mariners. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, Root Sports Crew. Glad you've joined us. Take a look at the Angel batting order that will face the rookie George Kirby. Taylor Ward will lead things off at 314 average. 10 home runs on the year for the leadoff hitter. There's Mike Trout hitting second, 289. 16 home runs. That leads the club. Jarrett Walsh will hit clean up 11 home runs for him. And Max Stassi, the catcher, will be hitting seventh in the lineup for the Angels. For George Kirby, making his eighth start on the year, a one and one record, a 365 ERA. And in 37 innings, 35 strikeouts over just four walks on the year. On a closer look at George Kirby and what he's going to feature, you want to see a fastball upper 90s 
That is going to be about 53% of the time. There's the slider at 26%, changeup at 12%, and the curveball at 9%. Nice mix. And the defense behind him. Julio will get the start in center field. Abraham Toro will be at third base. Suarez the DH tonight. Dylan Moore at first, giving Ty France a day off. And Cal Raleigh will do the catching. Ready to go, George Kirby, 24 years old, Ryan, New York, 6'4", 215, out of Elon University in North Carolina. First round pick number 20 in 2019. And let's see what he can do against these Angels. At one point recently losing 14 consecutive games, 18 of 20. At one point they were 11 games beyond the 500 mark. Our first pitch is brought to you by First Tech Federal Credit Union. Taylor Ward leads off the right fielder. And Kirby into the wine. First pitch, swing and a miss. Good start. Sixty-seven gorgeous degrees under a lot of blue and some clouds. Center fielder, right fielder, have some sun to deal with for a few minutes. Home plate umpire David Arietta, just his fourth career game. In the big leagues behind home plate, Hunter Wendelstadt, the veteran at first, Adam Hamery at second, and Jerry Lane, the crew chief at third. 1 1. Center field right at Julio. Has to back up. Has a carry to it. It did. One out. Didn't panic. No, not at all. And for Julio, McDelivery Supermount, he's had to go back a few steps. <laughs> Smile on his face. <laughs> he knew it fooled him a little bit. Here's that man. I know that's what they call it, Stan Musial, but I'm calling him that man. Here's Mike Trout. His numbers here against the Mariners and overall against the Mariners are just ridiculous. 334 here with an OPS of 1126. Overall, he's got 47 bombs, most against any opponent. 121 ribbies, most against any opponent. A 1086. OPS and he went through a note for 26 slump recently, but his numbers are still really good. Fourth and home runs, third and runs. EQC Tracer, no surprise, the first two fastballs up in the zone. Tremendous low ball hitter for Trout. Recently had trouble with the fastball. It's behind three and out. His first career, first inning career numbers, Felix can attest to some of that. There's a strike. I got to talk to my fellow Philadelphia Eagles fan. He said the first eight games that they lost were bad, but not horrible. They were in it. He said the last six games of that 14 game streak, everything you could name that could go wrong did. Walks in a 3 1 pitch. Well, George has the good fastball here in the first 97, 98 miles an hour. And hit that line at the top of the zone, but missed above it three times. Here is Shohei Otani. You have a problem with him winning MVP last year? Nope. Special talent for sure. Absolutely sensational. Turns 28 years old soon on July 5. Infield pulled around to the right, outfield straight away, and we've seen him with tremendous power all field. This is an opportunity for two, two of the fastest guys in baseball, and they won't get Otani. He got up that line pretty well. But you can breathe easy until the lineup turns over again. Trout off the bases and Otani having grounded into a fielder's choice. Yeah, right back to him. Takes his time on the throw. Making sure that he gets at least the force out. Imagine Otani can really run. No chance to turn it. So two outs. Brings up Jared Walsh. They have a sizable injured list. Some good players out. David Fletcher on a 60 day DL. Double hernia issue. Rendon. Is on the bench. Anthony Rendon, the third baseman. He's got a right. What was it? it was his right wrist 
problem. A hard time gripping the ball, although Phil Nevin said if he needed an RBI late in the game, he would put him in. A, so if, it, if there's a man on second, I can get, he can get him in. Strike one to Walsh. You can see Tracer on the fastball at 96 towards the bottom of the zone. Angel fifth and run scored. They'll take their walks, fifth and walks, third and home runs. George Kirby looking for win number two, its first big league win, a 10 nothing. Blowout in Baltimore on May 31. Bouncing ball. This will be Frazier. Nice clean inning. Well done by George Kirby. JP Crawford back in the lineup. Glad to see him. He'll lead things off when we get back. Good nights lead to great mornings. Get generic Viagra shipped discreetly to your door at rexmd.com. What can you expect from ButcherBox? 100% grass-fed beef, organic free-range chicken, heritage breed pork, and so much more. From farmers who believe in raising animals with care, with no antibiotics or added hormones, ever. All with free shipping right to your door. Together, we can make a difference, one meal at a time. Get free bacon for the life of your membership. At Bowen Branch, we don't make bedding like everyone else. We make it better. We prioritize thread quality, not thread count. We source the finest 100% organic cotton to make the softest, most luxurious fabrics on earth. We're free from toxins, the way home should be. Bowen Branch is made different, so you can sleep better at night. Experience the difference at BullenBranch.com. Clicking. They've had difficulty recently driving in runs. J.P. Crawford back from about with food poisoning, ready to lead this lineup. Now Scott Service changing things up. J.P. will lead things off, and I think Cal Raleigh's really swung the bat well lately. He will move up and hit fifth in the lineup. Adam Frazier drops down. He'll bat eighth, and Dylan Moore rounds out the nine for the Mariners. Go oh, hey, Otani. 4-4 record, a 3-6-4 ERA, making his 11th start. At 54 and a third, a big number, 71 strikeout for him over 13 walks. And a closer look at Otani and what he's going to feature. Fastball in the upper 90s, he throws it 41% of the time. There's the slider at 28%, the split, yeah, the split at 14%, curveball at 11%, and the occasional cutter. Nice arsenal, nice mix for Otani and the defense. Mike Trout will get the start in center field. Tyler Ward goes over at shortstop. Jared Walsh, the first baseman, and the veteran, Max Stassi, will do the catching. All right, you take a look at the numbers. The slider, just 211. Whip percentage at 41% splitter. 179, tough pitch to deal with. 47.6% whip rate. And then, of course, the curveball at 47.2. So a lot of swing and miss with Otani on the mound. Keep an eye on Trout in center field coming back from a left groin injury. Here comes J.P. Crawford. Big smile on his face as he came out for infield pregame work. And <laughs> you can see a little pep in his step. Good to have him back. Ty France getting a day off in that head first slide to record an out at first base yesterday. Probably accentuated the day off. Scott Service talking about getting a lot of the, a lot of the regulars playing day off, and we've seen a couple already. Otani from the stretch, all one. Otani two and zero oh in three starts against the Mariners, one and zero oh here at T-Mobile Park. As for JP, having a good year, just outside the top ten in batting. Honey, big kid coming downhill at you at 6'4, 210. We mentioned the fastball. Fastball at 96 miles an hour. If you see Tracer has it in the strike zone, he fouls it off. 
Aaron is coming off a two and four stretch against Boston and Minnesota to get this long home stand going. Next five series against teams with losing records. Chance to make some hay. Eight against the Angels, seven against Oakland, three against Baltimore. 97 on that fastball. That's his average fastball this year. JP all the way back on the back line of the batter's box. Aaron's a half game behind the Angels. Mariners shut up by Minnesota 5 0 yesterday. Minnesota returning the favorite. Mariners, same number, beat them on Tuesday. Here's the 2 1. Julio Rodriguez to follow. First time JP leading off this season. Something he did a lot of last year. Spent most of his time. Batting third, fourth, or fifth this year. That's how much he has meant to the offense. Here's a 3 1 pitch. Fly ball. Right center field. Turn Taylor Ward for the out. And Julio Rodriguez will step in. Otani, formidable. What a performer. MVP and All Star Rookie of the Year, Silver Slugger, Player of the Year credentials under his belt. There's Julio batting in the second spot for the first time in his rookie year. Long hold there by Stassi, ball one. There you go, every spot but leadoff. Spent the bulk of his time so far batting third in the order for the Mariners. 1 0 pitch. A lot of velocity from these two starters. Both of them want to pitch up in the zone. Let's see what Otani comes back with here. 2 0 to Julio. Breaking ball off speed pitch. And a pretty good slider at 85 miles an hour. Tony coming off a win in his last outing. Breaking ball. He was out in front of that. Yeah, another slider. Take a look at the location. Of this slider, middle middle. Has his split been as good as it was last year? His split's been a pretty good pitch for him this year. I remember watching. Opponent's oh, no. hitting just 179 off the yeah. split. I, mean, it, I remember seeing, watching some games with him last year. I think just disappeared. 2 2 pitch. Yeah, he did go and he knew it. Two outs. How about the break on this thing? Yeah, heavy hit with the slider to Julio. On 87 miles an hour, so a hard slider. Let's see, Winker will be the next hitter. Two out, nobody on. Let's see Jesse getting his contract extended. That service answering a question about Winker said, "Didn't have to swing so hard." Said that about a lot of guys. Just we need the guys start getting guys putting it in play. Been frustrating for Scott and the boys yesterday. 0 for 10 runners in scoring position. Five nothing. Lost to Minnesota. Now they've left a lot of runners on this year. Tough time getting the clutch hit. Yep, they lead the majors in that category. 0 and 2.
gorgeous, gorgeous day. Turned into be for this time of the evening for the Mariners to tee it up against the Angels. First of five. Split double header. 110 and 710 on Saturday. Inside, and you got to buy a ticket for each game. He thought he had a strike here. Like it was right on the corner. Did not get the call. So a break for Jesse. First time Winker facing Otani. Two balls, two strikes. Phil Nevin, interim manager for the Angels after Joe Madden was cut loose four days ago. Talking to Phil, he said Perry Manassian called him at his hotel nearby Big A and said, What are you doing? He said, Getting ready to come to the ballpark. He said, I'll come get you. Comes over to get him. Phil opens the door and says, uh, You're the new manager. What? <laughs> and he said it was a thrill of a lifetime. He said later on, Joe called him, Joe Madden called him and gave him his blessing. They had a great conversation. He says, You're going to be fine. The other thing he said when he told the players, and he told Mike Trout, Trout hugged him, and he said, You know how strong Mike is? He darn near killed me with a bear hook. As Jesse works a walk, nicely done. Going to take the slider down. Close pitch. There are a couple of pitches in that at bat that Otani wanted. It'll be a walk. Suarez yesterday, an infield hit, one for three. The DH tonight, batting cleanup. And for Gino, he's reached base 15 of his last 17 games. That's dating back to May 28. Overall among AL third baseman he ranks third in home runs RBI F war and weighted runs created. Play a nice third base. Broken bat Loper that's going to work for a base hit. Winker a little bit of a stumble as Trout gets to it he'll hold. And he's hobbling a little bit going back in a second too. I think he slipped a little bit. Right around the bag. A broken bat base hit. For Suarez, runners at first and second, two out. Right off the label, shatters it. He'll take the base hit though. Make delivery super mo. That went pretty far. Here's Jess. Yeah, I'll pass the pitcher. And let's see. Right. Yep. They look like he. Yeah, that's not good. Looks like he's able to walk it off though. Chance for Cal Raleigh. Over his last 16 games, hitting 246. He has really picked it up. Cal's got that batting average up to 175. He's come a long way. Produced some big moments eight runs, three doubles, four homers, 13 RBI. Big OPS. Boy, Otani's been tough. Look at yes, that. Yes, he has. Buck 40 with runners in scoring position. Like he's trying to get pitch calm to work. And look at that runners in scoring position, two outs. That's where the Mariners are right now. 091. 101. Throwing a lot of sliders here in the first. Slider's been 85, 87 miles an hour. That's in the strike zone, swinging right over the top of it. One on one to Cal with a couple on. Ball two, two and one. Pitch number 21 coming up for Otani. Cal, the fifth man to the plate. A lot of Cal's success, according to Scott, and some of the hitting coaches. He's shortening up that swing. Big, strong kid. Doesn't have to swing, but so hard. He's like to choke up on the bat just a little bit. 2 1 pitch. Inside gets away. The runners will move up. 
Base hit could mean two here. Count goes to three and one. The wild pitch. 97 miles an hour gets away from him right off the end of the glove of Max Stassi, the catcher. A great situation for the Mariners, an opportunity here. With Otani throwing a lot of pitches. So three and one, good count for Cal here. Winker at third, Suarez at second. Three one pitch. And another slider. He's liking it a lot. Cal, real quiet kid. He's done a very good job behind the plate this year. Hitting starting to count. 3 2 pitch. Ground ball backhanded by Walsh. He'll take it himself. Mariners strand two as we go to the second inning. Karsten Sabathia trains in win reality. I love it. So Karsten hits in reality. He trains in win reality. I'm glad I'm retired. He hits in reality. Train in win reality. Win in reality. See infinite game speed pitches, work on timing, pitch recognition, and get more hits. Train new school. Hit old school. Be ready for real. Win reality. Hey guys, Gronk here to talk to you about your hair game. Tim's has a full lineup of clinically proven hair loss treatments, all prescribed online by a licensed medical provider and shipped directly to your door, if appropriate. Order today and get a 90-day money-back guarantee at 4 With the Game Time app, I paid 60% less than this guy. What? And it's not just sports tickets. It's also concerts. Performances, too! Oh, come on! Download Game Time. Last-minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. Header against these Angels. Game one, 110 is our salute to the Negro League celebration. The team's going to be wearing the special steel hedge uniforms. They're gorgeous, they're cream, and just straight up beautiful. The team's going to be wearing their special steel head uniforms honoring the 46 Seattle Negro Leagues franchise. Do yourself a favor, get tickets at Mariners.com. Beautiful evening here in Seattle. Glad you've joined us. Angels in town, first meeting of the season. George Kirby, a nice first inning for him. A walk, it didn't hurt him. And now he'll face five, six, and seven. It'll be Brandon Marsh, Matt Duffy, and Max Stassi. And just 11 pitches in the first inning. Topped out at 98 miles an hour. Numbers against the Red Sox his last time out. Three earned over five innings. Swing and a miss by Marsh. 253 six homers and 30 runs batted in. The all her suit team, he wins. He's the captain. First changeup from George. You'll see that to the left handed hitters. Fouled off by Marsh. Last year, the Mariners and the Angels. That six times. The Mariners were one and two here and two and one down in Anaheim. So the defense is aligned against Marsh. Nicely done. Pulled the string on him, strikes him out. Raleigh holds on in his first K of the night for George Kirby. On the changeup. 
There's middle of the plate too, but you can see the movement on that changeup. McDelivery Supermo as he's out in front, swings right over the top. Best changeup you've seen from a rookie pitcher, not only this year, any time that, that comes to mind. It's pretty good. I, you know, Logan Gilbert, his changeup has really come a long way, but I think Kirby, especially what we're seeing tonight with that kind of movement, it's impressive. Angels scuffling to say the least. A buck 99, the last 15 ball games and a big strikeout rate. Boy, they were going so well. 24 and 13. Then they lose 14 consecutive and 18 of the last 20. They were breathing within uh, breathing distance of first place Houston. Houston right now as Duffy swings through. Nine and a half game lead on second place Texas. You see Tracer on the slider. Pretty good idea how good his stuff is. Seeing some pitches in the middle of the plate, but they're swinging right through it. Yes, sir. Strike three, call. Top of the zone. Paint, two down. Yeah, at 98 miles an hour. So I saw the change up. That fastball in the corner at 98. Today's SAP broadcast is brought to you by the Laborers Union, 47,000 strong in the Northwest. George feeling good on this 66, now 66 degree evening. Matt Stassi, Max Stassi, the catcher. You see with a curveball. Going with the full arsenal here in the second. Mariners made that move earlier today, claiming Drew Ellis. He is pounding the strike zone. Well, it appears he has a special fastball tonight. He's 97 98. And if he's able to stay up there at the top of the zone, it's going to be a problem for the Angels. The 1 1. Long foul ball. What else has impressed you about uh, Kirby so far this season in these uh, this what first seven starts now start number eight. I think it'd be really easy for him to go out there and just try to throw as hard as he can all the time go with that hard slider. But I like the fact that he was willing to mix it up use his change up to the left. He's work his curveball and even more. Of course you have to be really impressed with his overall command just four walks on the year. Well it's got some giddy up two and two. That's a pretty rare combination. You see a pitcher that throws as hard as he does, but has command of the strike zone. First time we ever heard about him. That's what we. That's what people were saying. Yep. Throws the daylights out of it and doesn't walk people. Two and two with two outs. Beautiful. Struck him out. Strikes out the side in the second. That'll get some momentum going. MLB Big Inning brings you the biggest plays of the night, live as they happen. Don't miss the ultimate baseball highlight reel. It's nonstop action on MLB Big Inning, every night on MLB.tv. It is gone! Every time he steps up to the plate, oh goes into his windup, or runs one down. He caught it! Oh, you won't see a better one than that! He competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network.
can. Start at the foul pole near Edgar's and come on down towards home plate. Look at the nice sky here, a little blue and white mixed in. Very comfortable temperatures. You're getting closer, Mike, to the official start of the Seattle summer, July 4. <laughs> That's exactly right. Really nice evening. Comfortable here at the ballpark. Didn't have to pack an extra pullover or anything. Taylor Tremel is going to lead things off. Six, seven, and eight coming up. Tremel, Toro, and Frazier. Taylor one for two. He got a double. Up the first base line yesterday. Strike one from Otani. He's one for two against Otani. Mariners with a couple of runners in the first. Left them stranded, but the good news is he had to throw 23 pitches to get through the first. One and one. And look for Taylor to pull in the infield, outfield, a couple steps towards left. Pitch outside, two and one. All-star balloting is open. Get it in, folks, for JP, Julio, Ty France. Two and one. Hey. At the corner. So David David Arietta. A's picked up a victory earlier this evening, winning 4-3 at Boston. Otani was heavy with the slider in the first inning, and there's another one. It's just off the plate, but gets the call. Good number there for Taylor. Six hits, five of them for extra bases. Padres beat the Cubs 6 4. Orioles 10 2 over the Blue Jays in Toronto. Cleveland beat the Rockies 4 2 in Colorado. Phillies 10 1 over the Nationals. 2 2. Swing and a miss. Otani with his second strikeout. A pretty good split. Split's going to start in the strike zone and then the bottom falls out of it. He wants to start that on the plate, see if he can get you to chase, and he was able to that time. One out, nobody on here in the second. Abraham Toro been on a lot of rough road lately for Abraham. Oh, for his last 12, three for his last 21. In with a further update on Mr. Ty France. He's having a fabulous year. Fifth in batting average in the American League, among other categories. So, what are you seeing in the struggles of Abraham Toro? I think the one thing that was really remarkable is that the fact that he hit the ball on the ground 28 times and none of them turned into a hit. So that put him in a rough stretch in itself. This is the fastball a little bit. You mentioned it all the time his powers from the left side. It's raising around a little bit more. There you go, another strikeout on the split. Two down. Third strikeout for Otani. Hey, the Mariners' first fireworks night of the year. It's upon us. It's tomorrow, and it's a special Star Wars theme presented by T-Mobile. Don't miss the chance to take in the spectacular show. Snag a photo with your favorite Star Wars characters. Make sure you get those tickets. Get them right now. Mariners.com slash fireworks. Adam Frazier looks at the pitch outside. Adam's been scuffling as well. His batting average at 227 starting tonight. You know, Scott Service changing the lineup up. So he's trying to bunch of side of hitters trying to keep them all in the group. Yeah. JP Julio and Wink up top along with Suarez and hopes with hopes that everybody else will start getting a move on. Another slider on the corner. Two out nobody on a one one pitch. I think you get 
a number of hitters in the lineup and you have to be on time with the fastball and, and they're just not right now and it also opens things up to get you to chase the breaking ball or off speed change up out of the zone. I don't think that's been the case with Adam though. He's still handling the good fastball. He's also in the, the stretch he's in. He's hit so many balls right yeah. at people. Tough luck think, also. Think about that Boston series. Yeah, something that me and Mike Cameron who was just in town we talked about that. What did Cammy have to say? Same thing. We were just talking about it. You know, is he struggling or has it been bad luck and probably a combination of both? Because you're right in that Boston series. He was hitting the ball hard, but it was just right at him. Story seemed like he had a hand in almost everything. Let get down. Trout coming on. Can't get it. Base hit. Good for Adam Frazier. Yep. Sound like he got jammed a little bit too. Yeah, I was on the slider. Ended up getting in on his hands a little bit. Stays through the zone. Hits it right back up the middle. You can see Tracer had it in the middle of the plate. Yeah, that's on the label. Second base hit for the Mariners. The first one by Suarez. Broken bat single up the middle in the first. And then we'll tie out of the lineup. Dylan playing some first base, hitting ninth. He has had a great defensive year. It plays in the corner outfield. Third base shortstop. An outstanding. I think he upped his shoe game as well. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Did you stay basic black? Yes. Rolling Stones paint it black. Except for the one year I was with the A's, I had the white ones going there. You had to because that was the uniform, that correct? Was it. That's right. 1 1 pitch. Breaking the ball in there. 1 and 2 to Dylan Moore batting in the 9 spot. All right, Mike, call your representative. Get yourself <laughs> hooked up. Ball, two strikes. Might throw a little extra on that one. Eddie, 97. Dylan trying to turn it over to J.P. Crawford. Look at the Mariners. They got to score four runs a night. They score at least four runs. They're 25 and 10. If they score three or fewer, they're 3 and 25. 2-2. Two -two. Good job keeping that at bat alive. Another slider off the plate away, but able to get a piece of it. Tell you what, you're looking at Otani. I mean, we're talking about a, a prime, primo, five, five star pitcher and hitter. It's just remarkable. I mean, you can get a little jaded sometimes, but it's just, it's just unreal what this kid is doing. I would agree with that. I mean, he can he can throw it 100 and hit it 104.5. Hit it with distance. I saw him in one of the highlights, even during the losing streak at home. He had a high fastball away from him, just like uh, Devers did the other day. Yep. And he put down in Anaheim, he put it in that rock pile in left center field. There are his numbers against the Mariners. Two and two to Dylan. Demo to left field. Marsh giving chase. He's under it. And that'll do it. Mariners get a hit, leave a runner. We go to the third, no score. And here are the first images. Hello, everyone. You don't have to leave the solar system to watch MLB Network. Just sign in with your TV provider info at MLBnetwork.com or through the MLB app. MLB Network, just about anywhere in the known universe. Baseball's biggest moments are live on MLB Big Inning. MLB.tv's nightly show takes you from game to game for all the grand slams, no hitters, walk offs, and more as they happen. Wow, he can do it all! Don't miss the ultimate baseball highlight reel. This is some kind of awesome. After your game ends, the action's just heating up on MLB Big Inning every night on MLB.tv.
this season. The Milwaukee Brewers with two pitchers up at the top of this list Garrett Cole Carlos Rodon Spencer Strider from Atlanta Atlanta keeps finding pitchers and then our own George Kirby. He's got one strikeout on the fastball today and no surprise at the top of the zone at 98 miles an hour. You can see the curveball in play. Coming off a very good second inning, striking out the side, swinging a miss by Tyler Wade, the shortstop. It would be Wade, Renhifo, and Ward, eight, nine, and one. Not seeing many bottom of the order guys. Bunting for base hits. That seems to be put in a time capsule as well. You don't see much of that anymore. 1 1. Toro in on the grass at third. Back up now. There's two strikes on the hitter. Yeah, that bunt that he showed brought him in, but you just don't see guys trying to bunt their way on. I'm trying to think this year. See maybe one or two guys. I think somebody, one of the Mariners dropped a bunt to open up an inning. It's not part of the game anymore. One two pitch, you know, his fist fouled it off. Kirby in his last two starts got no decisions. Last outing against Boston went five innings of six hit, five run ball, three earn, one walk, four K's, gave up a couple home runs. Got a no decision at Texas going six. Two home runs in that game. And his back foot count goes to two and two. He almost hit him with a slider. George trying to stay away from the home run ball. He's given up four in his last two starts. Two and two to Wade. Took a little off. Line drive. Taylor Trammell right there. And now word from the Redmond Police Department. Inspired by a bold belief in the dignity of every person, the Redmond Police Department are leaders in our community, guided by respect, professionalism, and dedication. Being a member of the Redmond Police Department truly is our calling. One away brings up Luis Ranjifo, the second baseman. Infielders moving around to the right. Oof, knocked the mask off of Cal Raleigh. Fastball at 96 miles an hour. McDelivery super mode straight back. Oof. I squared him up. Occupational hazard. Neil one. Count one on one to Renhefo. Angels, seventh in runs, seventh in batting, fifth in hits. Tied for third with Toronto in home runs at 78. They strike out more than any team. And for Georgie, it appears he had command of all four of his pitches. That was another curveball that he's able to land for a strike. Two and two to Renifo batting in the nine spot. Sun not a factor on the field right now. Nobody has to worry about that. Two balls, two strikes. Foul back. And a fastball, 96 miles an hour is going to be in the middle of the plate. Some late movement had it run back towards the middle. Taylor Ward on deck. Let's come back. Underhand flip two down. Two out stop of the order. Taylor Ward. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners. May not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. 
and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Very pleasant evening here in Seattle wherever you are watching us from. Hope you're having a fine evening. Dave Sims Mike Flowers Root Sports crew here. Two out nobody on top three. Taylor Ward flied out to center field and Julio Rodriguez to open up the ball game. Mariners against the American League West, a record of 11 and 10. Angels are 12 and 11. Mariners' home record now 14 and 14. And the Angels on the road 12 and 17. Well, a few times George has been behind in the count. And a base hit. Right center field, first hit for the Angels. Up Trout with a man aboard, two outs, and here's a look at the bounty quick stats. Quicker picker up, or you know it. Most RBIs all time against the Mariners. Rafi Palmero, H. Baines, Hall of Famer, Cal Ripken Jr., Hall of Famer. Or they just make up the plaque for Trout right now. Garrett Anderson was a very good hitter, and the big hurt. Frank Thomas, that is, thank you, Hawk Harrelson. That is a great nickname. Big Frank, the big hurt. Craig Grebeck, a little hurt. Trout walked his first time up. George trying to pitch him the top of the zone with his fastball was missing up. And that slider off the plate away. Mentioned it first time up. He recently had an 0 for 26 at the plate. Wish he'd have an 0 for 26 against the Mariners given his numbers, which are off the chart for his career. Fly ball deep right field. Tremell measuring, jumping, can't get it. Gone. Two run homer. Mike Trout. A two out, two run homer for Trout. And for Mike Trout, that is career home run number 48 against the Mariners, number 29 here at T Mobile Park for the season. His 17th RBIs, 35 and 36. I mentioned it back in the first inning. He's a tremendous low ball hitter. That's in the middle of the plate, right there above the knee. In all the years we've been doing this, I don't think anybody has done what he's done in this ballpark. No, oh, I agree. Just incredible numbers. And remember, he and Felix had a lot of great battles. Felix struck him out a fair amount of time, but he got Felix a fair amount of time. There's Otani. But for the most part, mentioning that he's a low ball hitter, and Felix, when you think of Felix, everything down in the zone, mm -hmm. sinking fastball, that great changeup. Usually, Trout homers in the first inning. This time, he did it in the third. That'll split the difference between JP and Frazier. Three consecutive hits with two outs. This is going to be on the changeup, middle, middle with the changeup. Able to beat the defense. Make delivery, Super Mo. He hits the ball hard. Next to below of 104. Tony 7 for 12 in base dealing. All he's pitching tonight. I don't anticipate he'll be running. First pitch strike to Jared Walsh. Grounded out to second. So Kirby holds him hitless. Two and two thirds, and then gives up three consecutive hits. Single, two run homer, single. Mariners have two hits, one in each of the first two innings Suarez and Frazier. 0 oh and 2.
Three Kirby comes back with here. He's ahead 0 2 with Otani at sec at uh, first with two outs. Slicing drive that's going to get down. Otani will hold up as Toro and JP sprint over to cover third. Four uh, straight hits. Another knock. Four hits in a row after getting the first two hitters out. AQC Tracer. It's on the label, fights it off. But another base hit. Gonna bring up Brendan Marsh. He struck out on a one two pitch to open up the second inning. Kirby struck out the side in inning number two. Other action today. Let's see. The Yankees at home beat Tampa Bay two to one. Beat them again. Rangers beat the Tigers again three to one, and the Brewers lose at the Mets five four. Kirby with a couple men aboard, two runs in, needs an out big time. Seventh man to the plate here. In the third inning, and all this damage done with two down. Frazier will take care of it, and that'll do it. Two runs on four consecutive hits, no errors, two left. It's two nothing Angels. To the track, to the wall. He made the catch. Catch your team. My team. He lives and makes the pass. Every team. As good as it gets. Only on MLB Network. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Jackie Robinson, 13 home runs into the left field stand. Crowd on its feet and in unison. This one has a chance. Come on! Mike Piazza, the Boston Red Sox World Champions. Welcome to the first night of MLB Network. Number 600 for Jim Tony. That ball is gone. 106. That would be a new record. It is caught. Oh, what a catch by Mike Trout. It comes. He finally won it all. The Atlanta. Brought to you by Home Street Bank. Rated one of America's best small banks in 2022 by Newsweek. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. By Xfinity, supercharge your home with supersonic Wi Fi and beatable internet only from Xfinity. And by Virginia Mason Franciscan Health, the Mariners' official partner in health, keeping the Northwest healthy at VMFH.org. East Waterway here in Seattle. Beautiful evening. Angels 2 0. Over the Mariners in the first of five here at T-Mobile Park. And a reminder to celebrate the reigning AL Rookie of the Month with J-Rod's squad ticket special. During all three games of the Mariners' upcoming series against the Orioles, June 27, 28, 29, sections 102 through 104, they're going to be dedicated to the J-Rod squad. Plus, you can pick up a J-Rod show t-shirt. So lock in your seats right now at Mariners.com slash J-Rod. Top of the order, here's J.P. Crawford. Against Shohei Otani, walked one, struck out three. JP flew out to right his first time up. A couple of hits by the Mariners, a two out single to center, broken bat single by Suarez in the first, two out single to center by Frazier in the second. Whoa. That got a little. 
<laughs> more funky than it had to be. As Jared Walsh and Otani almost had some issues. It appeared that Walsh was going to underhand the ball to him when he had to back up and then decided he was just going to take it. Actually missed the base the first time. So Tani's trying to get out of his way. He missed it and had to come back. Man. Thankfully there were no pulled groin muscles or anything like that. Here's Julio struck out in a 2-2 pitch. Slider. I mentioned three strikeouts, one walk. Given up by Otani. Just tuning in. Two outs, top of the third, four consecutive hits. The big blow, a two-run homer by, yep, Mike Trout. Good spot here for Julio. I had to count two and zero. Oh. Otani has been in the mid to upper 90s. A lot of sliders from him. Two zero. -oh. In there for a strike. Didn't go with the four seamer. It's going to be a cutter at 87 miles an hour. Two one pitch. Back with another two and two. Tony's last outing was a victory against Boston after losing two consecutive games to Toronto and at the Yankees. So other wins this year at Houston, Cleveland, and at Boston. He's got losses to Houston, at Texas, Toronto, and at New York, the Yankees. Three and two to Julio with Jesse Winker on deck. Julio batting second in the order today for the first time. Here comes a three two. And that's going to be caught out there by Ren Hifo. And now quick word. From Seattle Cancer Care Alliance Proton Therapy Center. I found out I had prostate cancer on opening day 2017. I had a friend who had prostate cancer and I saw the side effects he was going through and I just thought there had to be a better way. It was much easier than I ever thought possible. If I had to recommend proton therapy, I absolutely would. All right, Rick Griffin, thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you on uh, Winitro. This is a big day here coming up later on in December. Two outs. Third inning for Jesse Winker, ball one. Starts with a rare curveball. For the most part, it's been his four seamer, slider, split. Picks in a couple of cutters. One and one to Jess. On the year, his slider used right around 28%. Tonight, 48%. Feels pretty good about it. Winker with 24 homers, 71 runs. Batted in last year, making the all star team with Cincinnati. Breaking ball for strike one and two. Another breaking ball. EQC Tracer has it right there at the bottom of the zone. Two out, nobody on here in the home third. Two and two. Pitch number 57 for Otani here in the third. Bounce foul. Christopher Negron, first base coach, Manny Active coach at third for the Mariners.
His stuff. Kenny Comps. Rotani. I don't know. I mean, you're talking his average fastball at 97. At times he can touch 100. You don't see many guys throw the split anymore. Well, he's been heavy slider. 2-2. Two -two. Strike three called. Otani's fourth strikeout. Mariners are done in the third. 2-0. Angels. So a few months ago, I realized I was losing my hair. And then I found Hems. And a licensed healthcare provider prescribed me this new spray. The results have been amazing. I only wish I'd started sooner. Like if you could start yesterday, do that. Regrow your hair in as little as three to six months. Visit 4 Yeah! Nice. What? With the Game Time app, I pay 60% less than this guy. 60%? Game Time finds you the best last minute deals and guarantees the lowest price. Download Game Time now. Nice shirt. me. The summer breaks. I just flew back into town. Let's get outside. Ah, much better. Struck out the side in the second, looked real good doing it. Ran yep. into some problems in the third after two outs. Yeah, a couple of quick outs, and then it was a base hit and a home run by Trout. Ended up giving up a couple more hits. Was able to get out of the inning. Good shape, first pitch strike, so Tani struggling a little bit for that. Ten of 14 first pitch strikes. Not bad for George. Let's see what he does here in the fourth inning. He's got Matt Duffy, Max Stassi, and Tyler Wade, six, seven, and eight. <laughs> Duffy struck out looking on an 0-2 pitch, second inning. One and one. Two run homer by Mike Trout. The difference in this ball game right now. One and two. Mariners with the win. Pick up a full game on the Angels and move into third place. Just one team beyond the 500 mark in the AOS. That's Houston 15 over entering today. Two and two. Julio coming on. One out here in the Angels top of the fourth. What did you think of the Angels coming into the season? I was wondering about their pitching. I think that's been the, the problem that they've had for a while. I thought their lineup would be pretty good. Obviously with Trout, Otani, Radon. I mean they have some people that can hit. Was going to help them out in their bullpen to go along with their rotation, and lately it's been a struggle. As far as the pitching goes, they were off to a pretty good start, but yeah, it has faltered. Yes, it has.
upcoming schedule. That was their last six. And all of them are plus 500 ball clubs. Even the Phillies got over 500. 101 to Stas. One and two. Could not check that swing. Stasi a strikeout victim. Second inning. Phil Nevin talking about this ball club. They've lost 14 in a row. They've lost 18 of the last 20. They still come to the ballpark excited. Looking forward to getting some guys back off the uh, IL. They just got to keep on grinding. The Mariners, same kind of thing. They've fallen a little bit of tough time going two and four since they come home excited after the six and three road trip. Now they've won four series in a row. Taking a step back. Two and two to Stassi trying to put him away and he does. That is strikeout number four as we check in with Angie Mentick. Angie. Guys, uh, really cool news uh, today. The World Cup is coming to the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, it was announced that uh, when the games come to uh, U.S., Canada, and Mexico in 2026, they will be hosting games across the street at Lumen Field. It will be really interesting to watch all of these fans sort of come here to the Northwest. One group maybe to keep an eye out for, the Orange. I am told <laughs> that this is the most interesting group of fans from the Netherlands. Um, and I think you're saying that with air quotes, italics, and underline, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's who I thank you, Angie. Two out, nobody on. Fourth inning. Exciting to have World Cup action here. So I'm told that probably get four teams that'll be based in Seattle and Vancouver in group play. Tell you what, that's gonna fill that's gonna fill Lumen. You Keep bet. on that. Yeah, well. It's one of those things too. If you're not into soccer, you need to go because it's a great event. The passion's unbelievable. Two and two. You know, from covering Pelé in the last bit of his career with the North American Soccer League, New York Adams. That was it's like going to see Ali fight. <laughs> the crowds are into it. Hey man. Saw Ali fight live about three, four times, and that was there was not much like it. Two two. That's going to get down. Tyler Wade Julio gets to it quickly. A nice strong throw to get it back in. We talked about that with Julio and his defense. He doesn't take anything for granted whether it's a fly ball or a base hit. Always gets it in quickly. Solid line drive base hit for Wade. So hopefully this will not blow up like it did in the third. George got two quick outs and then single two run homer and a couple of singles before he got out of trouble. This is Renhefo made a comebacker to George in the third inning. Tyler Wade runner at First is six for eleven in base steal. Hey. 
Strike one to Luis. George Kirby, his last time out against Boston, they tried running on him quite a bit. He had to make an adjustment. He went to a slide step, and that pretty much shut it down. He's capable. Off speed pitch to Ren Hippo. A little higher leg kick as opposed to the slide step. Luis just back off the paternity list. New daughter Mia. Two out as we play top of the fourth. First of five in the Mariners. It's five series against teams with losing records. So if they can do something. Ground ball backhanded by Dylan Moore. Another nice play defensively. He's had a great year defensively. That'll do it for the Angels. When we come back, a. Eugenio Suarez will lead off for the Mariners. What does shopping for contacts look like at Warby Parker? Well, just imagine your favorite brands. Take away the hidden fees and add free shipping. There you go. Save 15% on your first order of contacts at WarbyParker.com. When it comes to contacts, Warby Parker offers dozens of brands, including Scout, our very own comfortable, breathable, and affordable daily lens. Learn more about Scout or save 15% on your first order of contacts at WarbyParker.com. Yeah! With the Game Time app, I paid 60% less than this guy. What? And it's not just sports tickets. It's also concerts. Seriously? Performances, too. Oh, come on! Game Time finds you the best last-minute deals and guarantees the lowest price. Am I on your dress? <sighs> Download Game Time. Last-minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. Life is about balance. If I get the proper amount of sleep, then... I'm going to be ready for whatever's to come. I use Aura Ring to always let me know everything that's going on with my body. The accuracy is what sets Aura apart. My sleep score is something that I'm always paying attention to. It's literally part of my, my morning routine. I'm always trying to make the most out of this thing we call life. T-Mobile coverage cam. So we come to you from the, I guess that's right above the M at T-Mobile. Take you out to a left field. Good crowd. We expect big crowds coming up this weekend. Tonight is game one of a five-game series. Singleton's tonight, tomorrow, doubleheader on Saturday and a single game on Sunday. And then from there, Mariners will have uh, a day off, travel day on Monday and go to Oakland for three and then see the Angels again next weekend before returning home for a quick stand and that'll get us into July. Suarez pitch inside. Ball one. Well, here we go. Star Wars fireworks show after the game Saturday. Salute to the Negro Leagues. Juneteenth celebration, NFT giveaway. Mark McLemore, Randy Wynn, Harold Reynolds with the first pitch. Gino, to the second deck. Take a look at the start times. That Saturday second game at seven o'clock. First game at one ten. I'll be having a discussion with Mark McLemore, Randy Wynn, and Harold Reynolds. There's a base hit right field. A one-one pitch by Suarez. Good start. Be having a discussion with those three gentlemen on Sunday at about quarter of the hour. And Gino two for two. Fastball in the middle of the plate. Exavilo of 104 as he goes the other way. Now reached base 16 of his last 18 contests. Mentioned that those three gentlemen are going to be here. We we'll have a discussion about African Americans in baseball. Same type of discussion we had last season that should be fun here's Cal Raleigh 
Grounded out to first. Pulls this one foul. That hit by Gino, the third for the Mariners this evening. And the slider through three innings. So 26. That's a lot. He was right at 45 percent. Whiffs on five of them. Called strikes in six. Put four in play. Again, he's usually right around 28 percent. Nice dig by Stassi. One and one. And here's a split. Pretty good play by Max. Keep it in front of him. One and one to Cal Riley with a runner at first. Mike Trout's two run homer the difference so far. High fly ball a pop up. Long run for the right fielder he's taking charge it's Wood. One away that will bring up Taylor Trammell struck out in a 2 2 pitch. Two hits on the homestand for Taylor one home run. What are you seeing in his uh, his hitting this year. I just think that he's been more comfortable. I think he feels better about being in the, at the big league level early on. He was off to a really good start. I thought he was really aggressive on the fastball. Lately he's seeing a lot of change ups. That's kind of slowed him down somewhat. So he'll have to make another adjustment. Claim to pull on the infield. Breeze picking up a little bit coming off of Elliott Bay but blowing across the field. From the left field foul pole 1 0 pitch. Hey. He's seen a lot of that pitch. Well, early on I mentioned he was hot he was hitting the fastball and. Now he's going to see more breaking balls here's the slider again on the corner. Tony with the 1 1 pitch with runner at first and one out. Off the fist, one and two. And this is a borderline strike on the inside corner, EQC Tracer. That's real close, 96 miles an hour on his hands. Oh, well, two strikes. Tani does not throw a changeup, so he goes with the split instead. Oh, you're asking me about a comp? This is just stuff wise. Mm -hmm. Roger Clemens. Wow. At the upper 90s with the fastball, the hard split that he has in the slider. I'll we'll have to relay that to Otani. That's that's a real good one. 2 2 pitch coming. Fourth start. For Otani against the Mariners, 2 0 record of 2 3 7 ERA. 2 2 here to Trammell. Full count. Toro will be next. Three and two. Takes a strike three called. That's a fifth strikeout for Otani. Second time Taylor is K. On the slider again, right at the bottom of the zone. Toro struck out swinging his first time up. Congratulations to the Golden State Warriors. 103 90 win at Boston to take the NBA championship. There's Toro. Struck out in an 0-2 pitch his first time. 
Tony starts him off with a breaking ball for a strike. Suarez with a base hit for an open hole right side of the infield. They've not been able to move him. Otani taking himself, inning over. Rounder stranded, two nothing Angels. Every time he takes the field, he competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Jackie Robinson, searching home run into the left field stand. Crowd on its feet and in unison. This one has a chance. Home run. Mike Piazza. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. Welcome to the first night of MLB Network. Number 600 for Jim <laughs> Tony. That ball is gone. 106. That would be a new record. It is gone. Oh, what a catch by Mike Trout. The Cubs have finally won it all. The Atlanta. Mike Trout, opposite field this time. His 17th home run of the year, a two-run home run. Moves him into a tie for third place in the American League with Jordan Alvarez of the Astros. The third time through the lineup for Kirby. Strike one to Taylor Ward. And Kirby, first inning, a walk, no problem. Strikes out the side, second inning. Third inning, good start. Two quick outs, but then four consecutive hits. That trout two run homer, the difference. Breaking ball for strike on two. Runs on five hits for the Angels. Right now you got Texas, the Angels, the Mariners, and Oakland all under 500 with Houston on top. What do you think the rest of this, say the next month or two, is going to shake out? Well, hopefully the Mariners get hot again. The Rangers, I think, they're going to come back a little bit. Beat Detroit today, 3-1. 2-2 pitch. JP's right there. Oakland's right where everybody thought they would be. And now, with one out, nobody on. Here comes Trout. In the stat cast era, it's 15. These are the home runs hit by Trout. 25. Most in any visiting ballpark. The one to right, far right. The one to hit tonight. Walk and a two run homer. Strike one. His career numbers against the Mariners, yikes. You look up, you go on his page on baseball reference. That is some serious damage. 
the home runs the most against any opponent for him and ditto the RBIs. It's funny, I'm talking with Mike earlier, he's a Philly area guy, we went back, played the Phillies recently. So I get guys texting me, I'm up at 206, come up and take a picture. I said, I got a game, what are you talking about? <laughs> A lot of family and friends there. Two and one. Two balls, one strike to Trout with one out. Two and two. He didn't like it, thought the curveball was off the plate. Probably had an argument. David Arietta, just his fourth career game behind the plate. As Trout swings through there. Nice strikeout there for George Kirby. But he'll remember that one striking out Trout the third time he's seen him in this ball game. Fifth strikeout. This is what you want to do. 97 miles an hour at the top of the zone. Getting him to swing through it. Make delivery super mo. Late. Otani with a base hit his last time up. One for two. It's once a club 11 games beyond 500. Otani takes a big hack. Right now if you're the Mariners with. You know the all star break will be here before you know it. And I've been saying this for a while but it would be nice to be a heck of a lot closer to if not beyond 500 at that point. Well, you were talking about it earlier. The schedule has, has moved in that direction for them. Yeah. I mean, 18 of the yeah. 18 games against teams with losing records. The next team you're going to face with a winning record is Toronto here on July 7. That's the first of a four game series. Then go to Washington. They have a losing record. Texas has a losing record. That'll take you into the All Star break. All Star game about a week, at least a week later than general. The 19th, the All Star game. Going to be in LA this year and next year, right here in Seattle. First time since 01. Book out. EQC. Tracer on the curveball. Pretty good pitch on the corner. Looking for a quality pitch here. Three and two. And hit the other way. Base hit. His second hit tonight. He is beat on the fastball. 96 miles an hour. Kind of an inside out swing, but exit below again at 104. Continues to hit the ball hard. Pitch comp, Roger Clements hitting comp. And you don't have to, you, you can come. Yeah, give, you, you can give, uh, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you a 30. I'll give you a 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> give me a 30. <laughs> You're right. I mean, the exit velo going the other way. Yeah, and the, think of a left handed hitter, a 6 4. There you go. I think that's probably one of your separators, right? Yeah. Made a tall dude like that. Yeah. And stands tall at the plate. Left handed. He's bigger than Wally Joyner. Wally Joyner yeah. was not as much of a power hitter, but a right. tall left hand guy who would make really good contact. Yeah. Left handed. Left handed. Well, six Clark was, four. he would stand up too. But not 6'4. Not 6'4. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, what about Fred McGriff? The crime dog should be in the Hall of Fame. You can make Terrific, a really yeah. good yeah. case for him. That's a good call for a crime dog. And a super nice guy.
Reese picking up. See the flags out of the pen. American flag blown hard towards right center. 0 2. Bouncing ball. Nicely done, Dylan Moore. No runs a hit, no errors, and a man left. We go bottom five. It's still 2 0. Angels. Every time he takes the field, he competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network. of the fifth is brought to you by Heritage Distilling Company's gold medal awarded cocoa bomb chocolate whiskey. Beautiful sun shining off of Elliott Bay. A 2 nothing lead on the Mike Trout third inning two run homer. Mariners trying to generate some offense. They have three hits and looking for a multiple hit inning to get rolling get on that board. Mariners are excited. Close out Pride Month with the celebration coming up on Thursday, June 30th. It's against the Athletics, and it's Pride Night. And the first 10,000 fans can snag a Pride cap thanks to Alaska Airlines, the official airline of the Mariners. Make sure you join us in supporting the LGBTQ plus community and get tickets at Mariners.com. How about Shohei Otani? He's keyed five through the first four innings. A couple of them on the split. Got a really good slider going for him. He's been using it a lot. Sam Adam Frazier can be an igniter here for the Mariners. They got Eugenio Suarez led off the fourth with a base hit through a hole on the right side, but then a fly out, strikeout looking, and a ground out to the pitcher into that. Adam with a base hit his first time up was a line drive in the center field on the slider. The hits tonight. Suarez has two and Frazier the other one. It'll be Frazier, Dylan Moore, and JP Crawford, eight, nine, and one coming up against Shohei Otani. Showed you the five Ks. He's walked one. One, one here to Adam. Wait. You called it earlier. They got to get on the fastball. The team's not hitting the fastball in this uh, last few games. Otani's been 95 to 97. Two and two. Game two tomorrow, Robbie Ray against Michael Lorenzen. Lorenzen having a good year at six and three. Robbie Ray, five and six, and he's had a couple of good ones. We didn't get any run support. Little tapper charging his Renhifo. Got a hurry, and he throws out Frazier for out number one. 
So we want to wait here in the bottom of the fifth bid for your chance to win a sweet and first pitch to Dan Wilson, benefiting the Benaroya Research Institute at vmfh.org slash go M's. Brings up Dylan Moore. Demo 0 for 1, fly down to left, first time. Giving Kai France a day off, Dylan playing first. Shortstop going back to get it, Tyler Wade, two outs. Pretty good fastball on his hands. Fastball at 96. Top of the order, J.P. Crawford, and now a word from the Home Depot. Make your smartest play of the day and download the Home Depot mobile app. Our digital toolbox helps make your job easier, save time, and get more done. Quick two outs for Otani. He's retired the last five consecutive hitters. First pitch strike. Took a lot off the curveball at 73 miles an hour. If you see Tracer on the curve, bottom of the zone. Yep, he's retired nine of the last ten. Trying to pitch at the top of the zone with his fastball. If you see Tracer, borderline. Could have gone either way. 1 1 to JP. Battled some food poisoning, kept him out the last couple of games. That was, yeah, that was Tuesday. Having to come in at the same time he was. He was not looking good. They looked 100% better today. 2 1 pitch to him. So he's got a 3 1 count. Two out, nobody on. Here we go, three and one. Slap to left field and diving. Did he make the catch? Looking for the call. Yep, third base umpire Jerry Lane, the crew chief, said he had it. And a one, two, three inning in the fifth as Otani has retired 10 of the last 11 that he's faced in a very nice catch out there by Brendan Marsh. And Otani, yeah, he likes it. Longoria, a guy last year who was one of the catalysts to a surprising Giants. Team. Meet Evan Longoria. This year as well. He's watching MLB Network. He's back, dude. Longo's hitting with big time power. Still that because ball. that's what baseball fans do. Right, here we go, Longo, 2022. Baseball's biggest moments are live on MLB Big Inning. MLB.tv's nightly show takes you from game to game for all the grand slams, no hitters, walk offs, and more as they happen. Wow, he can do it all! Don't miss the ultimate baseball highlight reel. This is some kind of awesome. After your game ends, the action's just heating up on MLB Big Inning. Every night on MLB.tv. Mike Trout, he struck out five, looked good doing it too. And one on the curveball. Had the quality fastball today, topping out at 98 miles an hour at the top of the zone. 
and mixing in the changeup. So here's George. Top of the sixth. Brandon Marsh, Matt Duffy, Max Stassi. Marsh is struck out, grounded out the second. The one. George still really poised out there, still looking good. That home run fifth he's given up in the last two plus games. Second, third time through the lineup, he's using the curveball a little bit more. Last pitch quality curveball. Meanwhile, Otani's having a heck of a night. He's two for three at the dish. He struck out five and has retired ten of the last eleven that he's faced. Mariners need some answers. The 0 2. And tied him up. Strikeout number six for George Kirby. He went right after him. But now some more in the world of Seattle sports news. Here's Angie. Guys, we knew it would happen at some point, and today we learned that unfortunately this season will be Sue Bird's last. She announced that it will be her final season in a Seattle Storm uniform in the WNBA. She made the announcement on social media. I've decided it will be my final year, and I will play this last season just like uh, this little girl played her first season a picture of of her both being uh, young and, and also in her career numerous accomplishments guys four WNBA titles with the storm where she's played for 19 seasons Edgar Martinez esque so uh, fans should get down to climate pledge arena and watch bird in action one final time as she makes her victory lap through the WNBA and let the debate begin about her place among Seattle legends uh, no doubt about it Angie. Yeah. a couple of Olympic uh, golds and I remember interviewing her when she was coming out of high school in Brooklyn and I knew she was good and she went on to UConn had a great career and, and even turned it up a notch out here in Seattle and congratulations to Sue Bird a great career. Forty plus and still playing and super effective at yeah, 19 years. Two balls two strikes to Matt Duffy strikeout looking and a fly to center. 92 pitches Sergio Romo getting loose in the Mariner pen. All but the two run homer to Trout, a lot to like here. Yeah, he's really throwing the ball well. 95 miles an hour. So approaching 100 pitches, still throwing hard. Fastball in this inning has been 95 96. Walked one, and he walked the second batter. That was Trout in the first inning, and Trout was eliminated on a comebacker. And that one just gets foul. Yeah, he's really throwing the ball well, and on Trout, unfortunately, he missed location. He wanted to go up to the top of the zone, it was more middle. Right above the knees, drop the barrel on it. One out, nobody on the two two pitch. Full count. Two runs on six hits for the Angels, so no runs, three hits for the Mariners. 3 2. Bouncing ball, JP's got it. Two down here in the sixth. So Mariners shut out yesterday, and they've been shut out through five here today. Looking to get something working here. Sergio ready to go. 
They've been shut out the last 15 innings as we take a look at the shift. Statcast powered by Google Cloud. Bouncing ball to Toro in third. Dug out nicely by Dylan Moore. Well done. A one, two, three. Very effective sixth inning for George Kirby. Getting some runs. It's two nothing Angels. Using the old baseball stats only gives you part of the puzzle. But when we challenge ourselves using advanced tools and modern thinking, you'll see the bigger picture. Challenge all things baseball with MLB Now, only on MLB Network. Every time he takes the field, he competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network. On Route Sports, brought to you by the Washington State Department of Revenue, returning forgotten money to people like you. And do it daily. Visit claimyourcash.org. By Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Order today at papamurphys.com. And by Clearwater Casino Resort. Life's a game. Live it up on the waterfront. And maybe on the waterfront, the ghost of Marlon Brenda will appear, but that's a whole nother story. Two nothing angels. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, Root Sports crew. Shohei Otani having a terrific evening. Struck out five. Shutout ball, a three hit shutout. He's two for three at the dish. Julio, ground ball. Julio digging hard. Throw, just got him. Nice play by Matt Duffy. And service going to hold things up. Close play. Under Wendell stat umpire at first. They're not going to take a look at it. So I want to hit the back of his glove. And he's out. Mm. Oh, Tony had big kudos for his left fielder Brandon Marsh and the diving catch. He made to end the fifth inning. Good defensive play right there. Here's Winker. Jesse today walked and took a called third strike. One oh pitch. This is your third plate appearance. You're in Winker's shoes. What are you looking for? What do you want to? What do you want, want to do? It? You want to get a hit here, obviously. But what are you looking for? Don't miss the fastball. He's been throwing a lot of sliders, and it's been a quality pitch. Tough to square it up. Three and zero now. And that was the slider right there, missing with it. But the main thing is to try to make him work in this inning. Get him out of the ball game. 87 pitches. You get him close to 100. Probably get him out. Wink will take the walk. His second. It's the second walk issued by Otani. See how the Walt Disney Studios helped America win the war in a new exhibit. 
at the Museum of Flight, the Walt Disney Studios and World War II. It opens on July 9. Hey, Eugenio Suarez having a good night. Base hit to center, broken bat, base hit, and a hard base hit to right. Tony last time out, 100 pitches, going seven in a 5 2 win at home against Boston. That's the most pitches he's thrown this season. Ball one. And nobody throwing it but the Angel bullpen. Starting to move around a little bit. Gina swinging the bat well tonight. One oh from Otani. Long hold. Winker doesn't have much of a lead. High fly ball. Is it enough carry? Nope. On the track, you got the wind blowing in a little bit from Elliott Bay. May have knocked that down just a I little bit. I think it bit. did. That thing jumped off his bat. Two yeah, outs. Towering fly ball. Looked like it was a breaking ball. And he was able to barrel it up just a little bit too high. You can see Tracer on the breaking ball. Middle of the plate. Exit below of 107. He thinks he's going to have to go up against the wall, and all of a sudden he has to run back in to make the play. You can see the wind knocking it down. Two outs. It's Cal Raleigh ground out the first and a fly to right. First pitch to Cal. It's even butt one down. Yes, so it just goes foul. Right idea. Man, the active fielder did. Yeah, with the way the defense was set up, you're going to square around the bunt and you want to push it and make sure that the pitcher has no play. Fortunately, it goes foul. Catch a fastball, right one out, tied up here. There's the fastball 99 miles an hour his best fastball this evening with all his hands right on the inside corner good pitch. Cal got a battle here. The 0 2. Struck him out. Another strikeout for Otani, his sixth. Another runner stranded by the Mariners. We go top seven, two nothing, Angels. From inside jokes. Hey, look, it's Mike Napafanakis. To insiders' perspectives. I like over five and a half strikeouts on Walker Bueller. Your best bet is the pregame spread. Served up only on MLB Network. Welcome to the first night of MLB Network. That ball is gone! It is caught! Oh, what a catch by Trout! The Cubs have finally won it all! The Atlanta Braves are world champions!
is over. He had one pitch, as we mentioned earlier. He'd love to have that back. Other than that, he pitched a well of a ball game. Yeah, he used the full arsenal tonight. The curveball changeup were in play, along with the good fastball and slider that we're used to seeing. Topped out at 98 miles an hour. Ties up another hitter right there with a good fastball. And the swings and misses today, 12 of them. On the four seamer, there's a slider with a couple change up curveball, career high. Really threw the ball well. Six innings, six hits, a couple of runs. They were earned. One walk, six strikeouts. He threw 97 pitches. 80% first pitch strike. That's working ahead there. Time now for Beacon Plumbing. Call to the pen. Sergio Romo will take over. This will be his 16th appearance. Poets hitting 265 against him. And at 12 and two thirds, nine strikeouts over four walks. Fastball at 85, 86 miles an hour, slider and a changeup. Last 20 games for starting pitchers. That's pretty doggone good. 278 and a 14 Q. That works. First hitter is going to be Tyler Wade. Breaking ball for strike. And starting pitching has been terrific lately. Get he got the offense going. going yep. Oh my goodness! 16 consecutive scoreless innings. Come on. Sergio Romo. Among active pitchers, only Joe Smith is ahead of him for Sergio. This is game number 814. Joe Smith has been in 858 games. Swing and a miss. Quick dispatch. What a changeup. Tyler Wade. It's mostly two seamer slider, but this is an excellent changeup. Gets in the chase. Delivery super how far out front he is. Joe Smith, Sergio Romo, two active pitchers, top of the heap. Mark Melanson still pitching. He's at 696. He's and Steve Ciszek tied for seventh. He's Ren Hifo. Aaron Loop getting ready to go for the Angels in the bullpen, the left-hander. Look at the all time career leaders and records for games played by a pitcher. The top three Jesse Orozco, 1,252 games, Mike Stanton, 1,178, John Franco, 1,119. 2 0. Tremel, plenty of room. So two outs. And now, quick word from Sound Credit Union. You want to see your dollar go farther? How about closer? At Sound Credit Union, members help each other and make a difference in their communities. Sound Credit Union, invested in we. Top of the order, here's Taylor Ward. One for three with a run scored. He was on base when Trout hit the home run third inning. And it goes the other way. And nice decision by Taylor Tremell. Keep it to a single. And Taylor Ward having a good year came into the game hitting 314 overall. Lead off hitter, 10 home runs, a couple of hits here tonight. Start to slip a little bit. See the relief on Taylor's face. He was able to pop up slide there. Brings up Trout. Walk, two run homer, and a strikeout. Home run for Mike, his 17th RBIs. 35 and 36. Big swing and a miss. It's on the slider. Outer half of the plate. Two out, one on. The always dangerous Mike Trout at the dish. 
missed one and one. That's hit well towards the pen. Julio will watch it leave. Another two run homer for Mike Trout. Four nothing Angels here in the seventh. He's done it again. Well, when he tells me he sees the ball well here to go on with his immense talent, he's not kidding. 18th. Your shit is always free. Visit rexmd.com. Hey, it's me. The summer breaks. I just flew back into town. Let's get outside. Ah, much better. Saturday, game one at 110, game two at 710. And remember, each game requires a separate ticket, so secure your seats for a great summer day and night of baseball at Mariners.com. More notes for you for this weekend. Star Wars fireworks show after tomorrow night's game. We have a salute to the Negro Leagues and a Juneteenth celebration on Saturday. Game one, first NFT giveaway. Mark McLemore, Randy Wynn, Harold Reynolds with the first pitch in Saturday game two at 7-10. Seventh multi-home run game for Mike Trout against the Mariners in his career. Ryan Barucki will take over. 16th appearance, eight two-thirds, nine strikeouts, six walks. Fastball in the mid-90s, slider and a changeup. Tony's had a good night at the dish two for three. Count goes to one and one. Sergio Romo, two thirds of an inning, two hits, two runs, two earned, no walks, one strikeout. Tani sharply hit, but Frazier's right there. So more two out damage by the Angels in the person of Mike Trout, two run homer. So we go bottom seven, it's four nothing Angels. 
the game time app, I paid 60% less than this guy. What? And it's not just sports tickets. It's also concerts. Seriously? Performances, too. Oh, come on! Game Time finds you the best last-minute deals and guarantees the lowest price. Am I underdressed? <sighs> Download Game Time. Last-minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. If we weren't proud of the craftsmanship and level of detail that go into every pair of Warby Parker glasses, well, we probably wouldn't show you how they're made, including this part, which is our favorite. Wow. And this is also great. When you order a new frame, we custom cut and polish a pair of lenses just for you. Try five pairs for free at warbyparker.com. Washington's lottery. What you play, all of Washington wins. In fact, over the last 10 years, more than $1.2 billion have been contributed to education. Really good looking night. Shohei Otani, boy, did he put on a show tonight on the mound and at the dish. Great slider tonight. He used it off, and it was a problem for the Mariners. Mixing in the split to go along with it. Fastball. Really good fastball tonight. He was 95 to 99 miles an hour. In fact, the last two fastballs that he was able to throw were both at 99. So six innings, three hits, did not allow a run. A couple of walks, six strikeouts, 93 pitches. Taking over on the mound out of Tulane University and Raceland, Louisiana. Veteran left-hander Aaron Lope, Lope in his 11th year in the bigs, his first year with the Angels, most recently is with the Mets in Tampa Bay and San Diego. And a 21 and two-thirds, 23 strikeouts for him. Fastball that he'll throw half the time at 92 miles an hour, mixing a slider and a changeup. Aaron Lope, this will be career game number 498 for him. He's been with Toronto, Philly, San Diego, Tampa Bay, the Mets, and now the Angels. Baron is looking to end a 16 inning scoreless streak. Sam Haggerty going to pinch hit for Taylor Trammell. Sam's a switch hitter. So it'll be Haggerty. Toro and Frazier here in the seventh inning. Sam will stay on and play right field. One and two. Haggerty got the start Tuesday and had a seventh inning RBI double. Did a really nice job in left field. In well, he caught everything yeah. too. He had balls hit hard, balls hit at him. A couple of one gapper he had to catch going hard to left center field. Good athlete. It's over in the radio side the other day and got a kick out of hearing his walk up music. It was the theme. To the Godfather, Rick Ruth said he had just recently sat down with him. Said, "Tell me your story, kid." And one of them was his grandmother basically raised him on the Godfather. We've seen it multiple times, so he can quote so many of the great lines from that terrific film. Three balls, two strikes. A two-two missing with the changeup off the plate away. Toro will be next.
schedule the records. These two teams. Half game separating them. And there's a love the stage rally. Second from the right, that's Phil Nevin. A really good career as a player. The last few years, he'd been the third base coach for the Phillies. 12 years in the big leagues. They played 1,217 games, played at Fullerton State College. Joe Madden got fired on the 12th trial. We'll get there. Take a look at the updated home run chart. Stat cast era on Mr. Trout. Look at that most in any visiting ballpark. Seventh time he's gone multi home run game against the Mariners. The opposite field today and then the one straightaway center. Now that's 18 home runs on the year. There's Toro 0 for 2. First pitch strike. Struck out and hit a little dribbler that Otani fielded. Ran to the bag himself for the third out in the fourth inning. Breaking ball hit well. Left center field and it is caught. Nice play. Brandon Marsh ran it down. They had to cover some ground to get there. When Toro thought he had extra bases on this DQC tracer. The breaking ball in the middle of the plate. Exit velo of 105. It's a bad luck. Good coverage out there. Marsh Trout and Ward. Two outs, Adam Frazier. One for one for two. Got a base hit into center field, line drive. Up the middle, the shortstop. Wade on a one, two, three, seventh. The Mariners have been shut out, held scoreless in the last 17 innings. For nothing. Angels. Baseball's biggest moments are live on MLB Big Inning. MLB.tv's nightly show takes you from game to game for all the grand slams, no hitters, walk offs, and more as they happen. Wow, he can do it all! Don't miss the ultimate baseball highlight reel. This is some kind of awesome. After your game ends, the action's just heating up on MLB Big Inning every night on MLB.tv. Introducing the new 599 double bacon cheese jack combo at Jack in a Box. You can order on the Jack app today by your Western Washington Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. And by Xfinity, supercharge your home with supersonic Wi Fi, unbeatable internet only from Xfinity. That sunset, gorgeous. The score, not so pretty. Two Mike Trout, two run homers. The story is we go top eight. There's Jared Walsh against Ryan Barucki who came on. Get the final out in the seventh inning. Sergio Romo went two thirds of an inning, gave up two hits, he gave up the two run homer to Trout. Kirby went six. He started six hits, two runs, 
That was the third inning two run homer by Trout one walk and six strikeouts. It'll be Jared Walsh Brandon Marsh and Matt Duffy four five and six coming up here in the eighth. They have a couple of left handers. A couple of right handers after that. Matt Festa getting loose in the Mariner pen. Backs up Julio. He'll make the play. And one away. And every time I see Brandon Marsh, I think of uh, the House of David. From back in the 1930s, the barnstorming crew used to play a lot of Negro League teams. Babe Ruth teed it up with them once or twice. They uh, put on their own brand of baseball. Some Jewish brethren there. And uh, they became a big part of baseball history in the 1930s. But. This look would fit in absolutely perfectly. The House of David. Oh for three night for Marsh, a couple K's. And he's 0 2 here. Pretty good fastball at 96 on his hands after the slider. Starts him with the breaking ball. EQC Tracer on this fastball. Really late. Ken Burns epic series baseball. He spent some time dealing with the House of David. Swing and a miss. Third time. He's Cade. Two down. Breaking ball to start it. Fastball in his hands and right back with another breaking ball. Well located. I remember correctly two from Ken Burns bio they were also David were one of the few teams that would play some of the play the black clubs black barnstormers two outs eighth inning Matt Duffy 0 for 3 the rookie they got him from Toronto and he's performed pretty well since joining the Mariners in a couple of outings you have to like his arm. Lefty out of the pen mid 90s. I know we saw him. I believe we saw him twice when we were in Toronto. Ground ball to JP. Very good inning by Ryan. One, two, three. Now for some runs here. Mariners trying to end a 17 inning scoreless streak. Dylan Moore to lead off. Join Kevin Millar and Steven Nelson on a quest for legends worthy of the sacred prize. It's unpredictable coverage that will have you on the edge of your seat. Join the adventure on Intentional Talk, only on MLB Network. It is gone! Every time he steps up to the plate, oh goes into his windup, or runs one down. He caught it! Oh, you won't see a better one than that! He competes not only against the other team, but against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network. In the game, let's watch the T-Mobile coverage cam in action. And how about this one? J.P. Crawford expected batting average on this one was 630. 
Great play by the left fielder Brandon Marsh. And then in the seventh inning, some more bad luck for the Mariners who the 17 inning scoreless streak. Toro hit a ball that he ran down in the gap. Look at that XBA was 950. It's about as good a ride as Toro's given a ball in a while and nothing to show for it. Mariners will have 9 1 and 2 coming up against Ryan Tapera. Takes over. 27th appearance on the air opponents. And he just 189 against him. Number 25 and two thirds, 22 strikeouts, over 11 walks. So he's been wild at times. Fastball 93 miles an hour. Slider and a changeup. So Para began his career in Toronto, was with them from 15 to the 19 season. Since then, the Cubs, the White Sox, and now in his first year with the Angels. Dylan Moore 0 for 2. Looking for some kind of spark. Mariners have one hit in the first. Suarez. One hit in the second. Frazier. One hit in the fourth. Suarez. That's it. Able to check to get on first on one. Wendell Stats said he's good to go. And a slider just off the edge. EQC Tracer. Pretty good take. Able to hold up. 1 1 to Dylan. Ball and two strikes to Dylan Moore straight up in the infield. That's how they play him. Ball up high. Shohei Otani started for the Angels. Six innings, a three hit shutout ball, two walks, and six Ks. 2 2 to Demo. Head hitting. Same fastball, 93 miles an hour. Misses his elbow guard, hits him on the wrist. Mm. The right wrist. The delivery super mo. Dylan hit for the fifth time this season. Ty France, he has the night off. He leads in that category, unfortunately. Ty leads the American League. He's been hit 14 times. Here's JP as we get back to the top of the order. Line drive into the corner. Demo can run. He'll score on this. JP. He'll get the second. Dylan coming around. There'll be no throw. An RBI double, and the Mariners are finally on the board. It's 4-1 Angels. JP with a ringing double. His 13th double, his 16th RBI. And that ends at. 17 inning scoreless streak right there. And being aggressive, EQC Tracer at first pitch fastball right in the middle of the plate. Exit below 104. No problem for Dylan Moore to score from first. Stand up double. Needed that. Good to have Dylan Moore on base because one of the fastest guys on the team, one of the fastest guys in the league. See if Julio Rodriguez can keep it rolling here. He's 0 for 3 tonight. A strikeout, a pop to second, and a ground out to third. 
saw five pitches his first at bat. Seven is second at bat swing the first pitch in the sixth. Crowd of 21,485 get a little excited here. Fourth hit of the night for the Mariners. Fly ball down the right field line. And we'll get foul. It's all about the yeah, ah. baseball that he likes. Pitchers have had interesting thoughts. Some have gone public, some have not. That the baseball is being used this season. Crowd urging on Julio this season. A 10% barrel rate, 30th in the big leagues. Strike on the outside corner to Julio, 0 and 2. Jesse Winker's on deck. To para dealing to Julio two swing and a miss he's gone. Paris first K one out it's going to be on the breaking ball AQC tracer. It's in the chase down out of the strike zone 85 miles an hour on that slider. There's Jesse Winker walk strikeout looking and a walk. Did go. You mentioned he's been on base a couple of times. It'd be great if he could get on base again. The Suarez waiting. Gino swinging it pretty good tonight. Leaves the team in home runs. Just seeing an 0 2 hole. Meanwhile, Suarez, a couple of hits and a deep fly ball to left field back in the sixth. Inside, one and two. And a big home run down in Texas. Maybe he can get another one or some kind of big moment. Get him on a hot streak. JP Crawford, he's at second. RBI double has the Mariners on the board. Two strikes. Good rip at it. Got a piece. Found it straight back. Yeah, good fastball to hit. 93 miles an hour towards the top of the zone, middle in. Fouling it straight back. Good aggressive swing. There's a strike. Opportunity here. One, two. Two balls, two strikes. Two, two. Did not go. Good check. Swing by Jesse Winker. He 
And Hideo Suarez on deck. That slider's just off the corner. Started with Dylan Moore on a 2 2 pitch, got hit on the wrist. JP Crawford jumped on the next pitch, doubled into the right field corner. Julio struck out, and now Winker's 3 and 2. Popped it up. Play it. Catcher Stassi with the play. A couple of sec, a few minutes ago, Ryan Tepera checking out the baseball. is like, nah, I don't want that one. Didn't even look at you. New one, uh, the umpire is David Arrieta. He was complaining that they're not rubbed up. Pick one. Still not thrilled. No. Hopefully next year that's not part of the conversations that we have at the beginning, middle, or at the end of the season. Two outs, here's Gino. Two for three. One out he made was a deep fly ball to left. Strike one. I'm gonna start him off with a breaking ball. Oh one to Eugenio Suarez takes outside one on one. Suarez with twelve home runs just outside. Just outside the top 10. Had a good fastball to hit. Tried to do some damage with it, fouling it back. 92 at the top of the zone, middle in. Two out, runner at second, a 1 2 pitch. To left field, Marsh right to it. Rounders do get a run, they end the scoreless streak. We go top nine for one Angels. It is gone! Every time he steps up to the plate, oh goes into his windup, or runs one down. He caught it! Oh, you won't see a better one than that! He competes not only against the other team. But against the toughest adversary, himself. MLB Tonight, where the best outdo their best on MLB Network. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Jackie Robinson, touching home run into the left field stand. Crowd on its feet and in unison. This one has a chance. Home run. Mike Piazza. The Boston Red Sox World Champions. Welcome to the first night of MLB Network. Number 600 for Jim Tony. That ball is gone. 106. That would be a new record. It is gone. Oh, what a catch by Mike Trout. The Cubs have finally won it all. The Atlanta World Champions! Shoot Casino Pen Report. How about Diego Castillo? And his recent stretch has been spectacular. 
Look at that 10 innings, a 0 0 0 ERA, 16 Ks over one walk, and a 0 3 2 opponent batting average. Last nine appearances. That has just been fabulous to watch. What's going on for right now in this ballgame? It's 4 1, top nine, and the Angels will have the bottom third of the order. Mariners is celebrating Juneteenth and Father's Day all at once this coming Sunday. And the team's going to wrap up a five game series against these Angels at 110. First 10,000 dads can pick up a Seattle Steelheads cap thanks to EQC. Bring dad out for a great Father's Day at the ballpark and grab seats at Mariners.com. Big doings here at the ballpark. Tomorrow, Star, War, Star Wars fireworks show after the game. The aforementioned salute to Negro Leagues and the Juneteenth celebration game one. And then the second game will be at 710. That Festa will take over for the Mariners. Fastball at 93 miles an hour and a slider. His 21st appearance. Opponents hitting just 205 against Matt. The slider has been terrific. 30 strikeouts in 19 and two thirds, in large part because of that breaking ball. Here comes. Julio to make the catch. Stassi's retired. Sam Haggerty took over last inning in right field. Festa did a good job on Tuesday closing out the Mariners 5 0 win against the Twins. Walked the first man that he faced, then got a strikeout looking, a fly ball. And he caught a pop up in the infield, caught it himself. He says, Hey, come on, Diego Castillo did it. I can do it too. There's one run on four hits, and those hits have been scattered. One in the first, one in the second, one in the fourth, and one in the eighth. Eugenio Suarez has two. The other hits belong to Frazier and Crawford. Wade one for three tonight struck out last time up Romo struck him out. Quiet offensive run here by the Mariners. 2 1, but, and that is going to work. He couldn't have thrown it there any better. Base hit. Liv, you were talking about bunting for hits earlier in the ball game, and most of the time you see a drag bunt. This is taking it with him. He's trying to bunt it past the pitcher. Didn't mean to hit it in the air, but it worked out for him. Second hit for Tyler Wade. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Luis Renifo. Ernest double play, depth runner goes, throw by Cal. It is not in time. Stolen base for Wade, his seventh. It's a pretty good jump. The delivery super mo. Not a bad pitch to throw on for Cal, just a little bit high. Pitch was a ball to Renhefo. Takes a double play out of order. Look out. Out in front of a slider. Mariners in the home ninth. We we'll have Raleigh Haggerty and Toro five, six, and seven coming up. Iglesias ready to go. Well, he is the Angels murder yeah. against the Mariners. Hard throwing right hander. Ooh. Comebacker. Two down. 
Root Sports. Looking for the ultimate fan in the state of Idaho throughout the month of June. Make sure you send us your photo and story at rootsports.com slash ultimate fan and you can win a VIP trip for a fan appreciation night. For official rules, visit rootsports.com. Two outs, runner at second. It's going to bring up leadoff man Taylor Ward. Ward with a couple of hits tonight, two for four. Scored two runs. Trout hitting the home runs after was base hits. Both Trout home runs came with a man aboard with two outs in the third and the seventh innings, respectively. All one. Looming, as he always does every time he comes here. T-Mobile Park. Mike Trout. Hey. On a one from Matt Festa. Festa kicks and a one one. Ooh, didn't miss by much. Pretty good pitch. Four seam fastball. EQC has it as a strike. Didn't get the call. That was a good pitch. Breeze really starting to kick up again. 2 1 pitch. Time granted. Two balls and one strike. Two outs, runner at second. Two two. Really needed to throw a strike right there with Trout waiting. Goes back to a slider. And the breaking ball, EQC Tracer has it right there. That's the two balls and two strikes to Ward. Full count. Two outs, runner at second, Trout's on deck. Fantastic night for him, two for three, two homers, four runs batted in. Three two pitch. Frazier's got a hurry. Safe, and Trout's going to come up with two outs again, this time with two on. Be an infield hit. Third hit for Taylor Ward tonight. Here's a look at Trout's second home run, a 1 1 pitch. Talk about full extension. Into the pen. Two home runs tonight. 18 for RBI. Give him 38. Taking his batting average from 289 to 295 with this evening. He's up there now, two out. Two on. First home run went opposite field. You saw the second one to center. Here comes the 1 0. Fastball first strike one and one and a quality pitch with the fastball 91 miles an hour right on the corner. Key to it is you want to elevate the fastball to him. One one pitch. 
Breaking ball for strike one and two. And this slider is going to catch a lot of the plate. Oh boy, sure yeah, did. middle, middle. <laughs> on two strikes, here we go. Two out, two on. Struck him out. Needed that. Last stuffs here for the Mariners. Five, six, and seven coming up. Raleigh, Haggerty, and Toro. Four, one, Angels. Hey, kids. Join MLB Network and your favorite players for a show made just for you. Play ball. It's all the big moments, bat flips, and amazing plays from an exciting week of baseball and tips to up your game. Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern on MLB Network. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Jackie Robinson searching home run into the left field stand. Crowd on its feet and in unison. This one has a chance. Home run. Mike Piazza. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. Welcome to the first night of MLB Network. Number 600 for Jim Tony. <laughs> that ball is gone. 106. That would be a new record. It is caught. Oh, what a catch by Mike Trout. The Cubs have finally won it all. The Atlanta Champions. Welcome back, Mariners. Have some work to do. They are down three runs and they've got just three outs here in the bottom of the ninth to get it done. Angie Mentink with you here at the Ford Sports Test. It took me almost an hour here to get to T-Mobile Park from where I live. That's nothing compared to some fans that made their way to T-Mobile Park. They use the hashtag where I root and let us know where they were tonight. Justin checks in, drove 802 miles from Laurel, Montana to watch the game. So Justin, I will stop whining about my hour commute to the ballpark today. And uh, Coach EZ, Mickey Mays taking in his first Mariners game. Hopefully they stopped by, uh, just by me actually, to the left of me and got him a certificate. And finally, we've got this one from Cameron. Go Mariners uh, on the low tide. They, they drew that out. And I don't know if that's rocks, shells, a combination, but record low tides right now. Uh, keep those photos coming and use that hashtag where I root. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you, Angie Rysel Iglesias. When they can get to him, this is what he's done. Fastball at 95 miles an hour, slider and a changeup. Cal Raleigh would lead things off. Cal with an 0 for 3 night. Ground out the first, fly to right, and strike out. Starts him with a breaking ball right at the bottom of the zone. He's got him 0 and 2. Cal to be followed by Sam Haggerty and then Abraham Toro. Career in place is giving up a 182 batting average, and he's off to a good start here. 182 batting average to the Mariners. Quick one out. It was a slider and back to back change ups. Typically, you're going to worry about his fastball, but the change up down out of the zone gets him to chase. There's the theme from the Godfather. I know Sam Haggerty's at the dish. I'm due to see that movie again. I love that flick. It's been a while for me, too. There was a stretch, I swear, I think I saw it once a year for about 10, 12 years. And when Coppola put the first put the first two Godfathers together in chronological order, we saw De Niro early on. I thought that was good stuff as well. What a one to Sam. Glacius feels pretty good about his changeup tonight. Another changeup right here. He threw a couple of them. To Cal, right at the bottom of the zone. 
on the line that will get fouled. One and two to Haggerty. Falls it up with a pretty good fastball at 96 miles an hour. Is it off the end of the bat? Ball and two strikes. Boy, that had some life on it, didn't it? Another fastball at 95 miles an hour on the inside corner. A good job by Sam to get it out of there. Sixth time that Iglesias has faced the Mariners. For Iglesias, six innings pitch coming in, giving up four hits and no runs. Struck out eight, walked one. Ball and uh, time granted. Swing and a miss. Foul tip held on by Stassi. Quick two down. Another well located fastball at 95 miles an hour. A little run to it. That's a pretty good two seamer. Right on the corner at the knees. Last hope here for the Mariners, Abraham Toro 0 for 3. Well, he works that fastball in on your hands. That is yep. nasty. And then he goes to the changeup down and away. Woo. Tough combination, especially when he's locating the way he is right now. And a quick 0 2. Last year when we were here, Joe Madden could say enough good things about him, I suspect. <laughs> no doubt. Phil Nevin feels the same way. 0-2 to Toro. Two out, nobody on, and didn't miss by a heck of a lot. Twelve pitches, ten strikes for him. And they're quality. Big time. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. Ball game over. First of five with the Angels goes the other way as their stars shine in a big way. Trout two two run homers. Otani six innings of shutout ball in the bullpen was nails. Otani was really good tonight but these guys have to start finding a way somehow find a way to get this thing turned around and get some offense going. Boy one two three strikeouts by Iglesias for Mike Flowers. I'm Dave Sims. We hand it off Mariners post game starts right now with Brad and Dave Valley. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, the Angels, you see them get to celebrate the first of five here. First meeting between the two teams this year. The first of 19 goes the other way. 4 1 the final. And Dave, I think Dave Sims said it correctly when the two stars shine brightest tonight. There's Otani and Trout. And really, that was it for the Angels. Yeah, really hard for to believe that they lost as many games in a row as possible with those two players because all it takes is one great night from Mike Trout. We saw that here tonight. Two home runs, and then Shohei Otani gets on the match. He goes six innings, gives up only three hits. I don't think there was one ball hit hard all night long. Two walks, six strikeouts on 93 pitches. And you take a look at what he was able to do here today. He threw 38 sliders. He had 16 swings on those five whiffs and gave up only one hit. But he had his split finger working. His fastball was averaging 96.4 miles an hour. This was a, a tremendous performance by one of the best players in the game of baseball. And uh, Trout followed that one up. You're looking forward oh, to Oh, Brad, he was also game. two for four. Yeah, hitting. Yeah, you're looking forward to the key to the game. I was trying to get some offense against Shohei. It did not happen tonight. They lose by a score of four to one of the Mariners do. Uh, Mike Trout, two two-run home runs, both with two outs. This is his second one against Romo there in the seventh. Breaks the game wide open to left center field. It's gone. We'll have more on Trout and the Angels. Coming up here as they take 8-1 by a score of 4-1.